order and entropy, a never-ending cycle. Welcome into the lecture hall today, class. It's Wednesday, my dudes. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's totally Wednesday today. How's the music? Hold on. Okay. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I'm living with it. I'm liking it. I'm loving it. I'm not stealing any brands, that's for sure. <laughs> in JST, yes, it's Wednesday. Exactly. Exactly. We're on JST time. Because I'm in... Zeno Cooney? I think that's lore accurate. <laughs> close enough, close enough. Hi, good morning, or good evening, or afternoon, or whatever it is for you right now. Good time zone, yeah. Uh, or bad time zone, I don't know what's going on with you. And, uh, frankly, that's none of my business. Make of it what you will. <laughs> I'm in class right now, I couldn't care less. You're listening to me in class? Uh, that's not good. Um, hi, teacher. You know what Zeno Cooney means, right? Hell no, I don't. I have never been. I've uh, lived in Southern Elysia my whole life, really. Uh, recovering from having my teeth stolen? Oh, shit. Yeah, me too soon. Tomorrow. Hear me out, 12 hours of WoW? I don't know about that. But anyway, uh, oh, right, yeah. Uh, hi, I'm Crimson Ruse. I'm Elysium's greatest monster hunter, and I'm your least favorite idol. I'm currently on a top secret bounty for the government, but I can't really tell you the details about that. What I can tell you is that it involves entertaining you, Axles. So you're welcome. Or I'm sorry. I guess. Depending on where your proclivities lie. <laughs> Hi! Hi! Tomorrow I will be dropping my wisdom score to negative two. They will steal my wisdom teeth. Or tooth. I'm not sure how many they're taking. Or if they're taking one. I will find out when I get there. The details aren't important. Just that I have to survive. <laughs> Ah, don't worry too much about it. I don't need luck. I don't know. We're going to find out. Who knows? Maybe they'll take four. I don't know. Maybe they'll take one and a half. Is that how wisdom teeth work? Yes. If they take your wisdom teeth, you lose wisdom score. Every time you've played a D&D character with negative wisdom score, it's because they lost their wisdom teeth. That's a fact. That's actually how it works. Objective. Survive. Snake. Snake! All four of yours at once? I don't know if I could have all four of mine at, mine at once. You know, they might take all four. I'll let you know. How about that? I'll let you know. Recovery soup? <laughs> Thanks. That's good soup. Um, I've never played a Metal Gear Solid game. I'm sorry I made that reference. That was very fake of me. Uh, anyway, right. Oh, right. Uh, sorry. I'm not on track today. I just woke up a little bit ago. I just got up for my big blink. I got a big, big blink in, and I said, mm, now I'm up. All right, let's do it. So, we're going to be playing a little bit of Season of Discovery today. I am playing Alliance, and I know that pisses some of you off, but I figure it's the best way to show you guys both sides of the coin. You know, you've seen Dusty Dusty Duratar looking like somebody who needs to see a Dusty Dusty Dermatologist. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. But that skin, that, that is a dry surface. They need to put a little water on that or a little moisturizer or something. Uh, so, now I'm showing you the Night Elf place, which maybe has a little too much water, a little too much moisturizer. It's very green. There's a lot of plants out there. Um... So yeah. No, four at once could not kill me. I'm too strong. I can have four teeth removed. I'm not a baby. I'm not a child. So it's gonna be air quotes comfy wow time. Um, Teldrassil, yes. I believe Teldrassil is the name of the night elf starting area. It does have a lot of elves. It does have a bit of an elf um, infestation. It's okay though, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Don't worry about it. We'll, we'll learn We'll learn about it together. Let's go ahead and kick right over there and get started. And I'll show you what we've done so far and what we're going to do. Oh, that's loud. Sorry. Fucking come into Gregorian chants, switch scenes. Uh... Look at all these little people running around. Man, I love it when you see new players in the start area. It makes me feel so good. Can we say hi to Taronda? Mm. I guess so. 
I'm more of like a Malfurion kind of guy. Actually, I kind of like Illidan, I'm not gonna lie. But Tyrande's pretty cool too. I like that she's always pissed off. It reminds me of myself. Cover win tomorrow, actually. I do work for the government. I gotta cover tons of stuff. Hold on, is it still too loud? Real? That seems fine. I think we're fine. Today, my goal is to try to get us to level 10 so we can get our first pet. I wanna show you guys our first pet. Um, so, so far, we've been in Shadow Glen. Um, and that's been, you know, it's been an experience. Uh, largely, what that means is that I have been down to, um, oh, where have I been? I've been in a couple different places. Oh, my music stopped. Why'd my music stop? Ah, don't worry about it. It's fine. Oh, there we go. Uh, so I've been over to... Oh, I figured it out. I was like, something's not working here. But now I got it. Okay, okay. We went from here up to this little spider cave or whatever, right? So we were like going around this way. We went up to this little spider cave. We fought a big spider. We came there. There was a guy who was poisoned over here. And then we ran all the way back down to Shadow Glen. And I turned something in for uh, my hunter trainer or whatever after I got a rune. And then what I had to do is I had to run over here and here and here and here to get mushrooms. And then I went over here and I killed a few grells, whatever the fuck a grell is. And I went over here and um, I slapped a bit of wildlife, which seems very uh, in touch with nature as we know the night elves are. So yeah, that's kind of what we've been up to. Um, and that's about it. So far. Cool? Cool. Now we all know what's going on. Let's get back into it. That strangely looks like the head of a rooster. A rooster? Wink. What happens if I eat fried chicken after they take my wisdom tooth? Do I die? Where am I going? What am I doing? Hold on. Crown of the Earth. Oh, that's right. They want me to fill the crystal vial. Hold on. I actually got to read this one to know where I'm going. Hello, Aura Angelique. Thank you for the spiders, the ants, and the beetles. Is that a is that a little is that a little beetle? I've got a beetle plushie. Uh, oh, maybe I shouldn't tell you that. Actually, maybe that'll take away from my hardcore uh, persona that I put on. You guys will look at me as like soft if I tell you that. You know what? Never mind. Hello! Thanks for liking my shoelaces. I don't know what that means unless I've had, unless you're one of the many victims of which I've stepped on your face. In which case, I would say I'm sorry, but I'm not that sorry. I was gonna tell you about the beetle plushie that I sleep with every night that I call Beeble, but I'm not gonna tell you about that because that would be embarrassing. Smooth. You're so smart, Ruse. I know. Thank you. Hi, Shaco from League of Legends. Good luck with the final exam hiatus. Thank you for wishing me luck, and I wish you luck, but you don't need it because you're a fucking genius, and you've already prepped for this. You got this! Let's go! Come back and tell me how incredibly good you did on your final exams. I believe in you. All right, hold on. What, uh, 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 Tanarin Stormgrim. That sounds like a, a night elf name. Um, it is time for you to set out to seek your destiny, Rusader. But before you are ready to set out into the w world beyond our enchanted forests... There is much you must learn about our recent history. Much has changed with our people since the Battle of Mount Hyjal. Nordrasil lies a pale shadow of what it once was. Its power used to defeat Archimonde and drive back the Burning Legion. There is a task you must perform. Go to the Moonwell, north of Aldrasil, and return me a vial of its water. Okay, where's Aldrasil? Is this Aldrasil? Do I go north this way? Shit. Uh, I think it's, this is a moon well, I'm pretty sure. So we're going to go over there. Music's just a little loud for me. Okay, there we go. I think I got it. Ah! Aldrasil is just everywhere in Teldrassil. Oh, okay, good, 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 good. I know, I love the Night Elf starting area. Isn't it pretty? I mean, come on! 
This, if you ever want to get someone in a WoW, you got to make them start a Night Elf. I know Horde's the way to go. And once you've played enough WoW, everybody goes to Horde eventually, right? Eventually, we all realize the, the Alliance are the actual bad guys. And the Horde's just trying to live their fucking life. But I will say, if you wanted to get someone in a WoW, if you wanted to WoW someone, wink, you got to start them in the Horde area. Though, I okay, I take that back. There is one condition in which this is not true. If they have a tattoo of... um. If they have a tattoo of Nightmare Before Christmas, <laughs> make them start undead. <laughs> Those are the rules. Why would anyone have that? I'm really sorry to inform you. There's a lot of people who have that. There's a lot of people who have been in very regretful relationships uh, who have that, who are like, this one's the one. She's going to be my forever girl. I'm her Jack and she's my Sally. And they get the tattoos that match. They last about two months. Boop, they're gone. <laughs> okay, that's not very nice. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. I mean, it's true, but it's not nice. Speaking from experience. Oh, yeah, I've known a lot of those. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I've known a lot of those in my life. Do I have that? No. Because I don't, I actually don't have any tattoos, but I have known a lot of people who are like that. Undead make me feel terrible after playing Warcraft 3? Why? Is it because of the Sunwell? Remember the Sunwell. Where's the lie? Okay, that has to be a niche. Normally they have their ex's name, right? No, I'm telling you, it's not a niche. I'm telling you, if you grew up in Midwest Southern Elysium, there's 50 of them in every single fucking, like, terrible, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, wagon park that you could ever live in. <laughs> uh, I gotta go up the tree. I'm telling you, you stop at one door. Bam, there's 50 of them. <laughs> Have I ever played an Elder Scrolls game? Yeah, I played uh, Oblivion and Skyrim. Listen, yeah, I am wagon part trash. I've been broke my whole life. <laughs> oh, it's so sad, but so true. That's okay, though. Now I'm not. Well... Now I live in the in the tavern for free. So I guess that makes me tavern trash. <laughs> Have I no, I've never played Rust, but I want to. I want to try it. I'm just like, yeah. He's so he's he's so real for that. He's just like me for real for real. He grew up in the middle of nowhere too. Okay, we're finally heading out to the next town. We're heading to Dolinar. Oh, Rust is so fun. I do want to play Rust. I really like open world survival games. I really enjoyed um, Ark. I actually got into it with DayZ Standalone, which wasn't a good game. But because I had never really experienced a survival game uh, leading up to it, it was really fun. I enjoyed uh, the experiences I had in that game. The game itself was mostly a walking simulator, but... You know, just being in an open world where I got to talk to people and try to diplomacy my way out of shit, that was super fun. Oh, and another game I played that nobody's ever heard of, and I'm sorry that everybody has terrible taste, was called um, Reign of Kings, I think. It was in early access. It never left early access. The devs abandoned it. Oh, my God. That game was fun as fuck. I played Ark. That was another open world game I really enjoyed. What other open world games did I play? I assume I just follow the road out of here to get to Dolinar. Yeah, I think you just trail the road for a while. Uh, t -t 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 what else was there? Reign of Kings, Ark, Daisy. Have I played any other open world survival games? I don't remember. We could watch you play Ark while you nerd out about dinosaurs. Fuck, I'd be down. Have you guys ever played uh, The Isle? Conan, no, I never played Conan Exiles. I don't, like, dislike it. It's just the sort of, like, Conan Barbarian fantasy really isn't my vibe. I've never been, like, a Mad Max type of guy. Um, I like that 
either dark fantasy or high fantasy, but sort of barbaric fantasy has never really been my thing. And Conan, like, really heavily evolves, revolves around, like, the idea of bonking people over the head and enlisting them in, um... <sighs> indentured servitude, I guess, would be the word I'd say, and that's really not my vibe either. Um... People aren't cargo meat, which I get. It's part of the setting, and that's fine. It's, like, realistic, and that happens in life and all that shit, uh, or has happened in the past, and I understand that that is, like, you shouldn't shy away from depicting that because it is the reality of that situation, but I don't want to participate necessarily. <laughs> um, so, eh, not really my thing. I don't know. I just, the setting doesn't do it for me. The gameplay loop doesn't do it for me. I'm just kind of mid on it. I probably would play it given time, but... Shrug. Oh, I did play V Rising. Yes. What was I saying? I was talking about something before Conan, and I got lost in it. I got lost in the sauce because I'm so, it's so easy to branch my fucking thoughts. Oh, I am the worst. Uh, anyway, whatever. Not that important. I'll figure it out later. Not that there's anything. Okay. I do want a disclaimer real quick because I don't want people to think I'm fucking like harping on people who play Conan. Totally chill. It's a fucking video game, dude. I get it. Um, and there's nothing wrong, again, with your fantasy settings having that. Like, fantasy settings have murder and, uh, uh, you know, war and, and assault and shit like that. And it's okay if that's, like, depicted. Whatever. Um, enjoy your fucking game. I don't care. You shouldn't feel bad because you play a game that has that shit in it. Uh, but that combined with the setting, combined with kind of being burnt out on survival games at the time, was like, eh, whatever. Not my shit. Not right now. Maybe one day. Never played Crusader Kings, no. Good night, Valoris. Warhammer Age of Reckoning. Is that an MMO? Because no, I did not play that. I'm pretty sure this quest is like right here. Hold on. Yes, I got to kill owls, spiders, and night sabers, which is great because that's just... Free, 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 uh, free XP. That's the word I'm looking for. Oh, yeah, we got our combo last time we left off, so I could do a billion damage before they ever get close and reapply my poison. God damn, that's nice. Oh, yeah, I, I played the shit out of Zomboid in its, um, early, early access days, but I have never played it in like, well, not never, but I have not really sat down and genuinely given it a shot in the last long, long while. I need to, I want to. Poor owls, I know, I know. It's for the greater good. Hey, aren't these satyrs just night elves that have gotten involved with um, fell magic? If I remember correctly, if I remember correctly, the satyrs are night elves that were corrupted by fell magic after the night elf queen made a deal with the weird space demon dudes, yeah? Hey, where's the satyr who gave me this quest? He was just right here. Where'd that satyr go? Where'd you go, bro? What the hell? All right, whatever. Anyway. It's too far away. It's too far away. Yeah, Zomboid's a lot of fun. The problem I have with Zomboid is solo, it bores me. Like, I've enjoyed the game, but I feel like it's the type of game I would have to play with other people to really get the most out of. Definitely gotta play Zomboid with the other boys. I would! Uh, I'm not super, like, well-versed in it, which is to say that, like, I... I've never gotten to the point where the water gets turned off. If that's a good marker for, like, where I have and have not been. God damn it, the Night Elf starting area is so cool. Like, I, I, the horde is cool. I like their wolf riders that are riding around. But the night elves get fucking treants just wandering the roads, protecting them. If that's not fantasy, I don't know what is. Start in the night elf area if you haven't played WoW. It is going to get you wrapped in. God damn it. Look at this big, dumb, tree beard looking motherfucker. I love him. Oh, wait. That wasn't very idle of me. Um, um, gosh darn it. I like this guy. Yeah, big shout out to trees. Exactly. Let's just pick up the rest of these quests since we're right here before we continue the Seder quest. How may I help? Two days or one week? Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> I haven't played for a whole week, I'll tell you that. 
I don't know. I like the game, but the gameplay loop kind of loses me in the same way Sims does, where it's like, yay, this is going to be so exciting. I'm going to play. And then I'm like, uh, eh, this was fun. I feel like you'd have to kind of get into a role play server to really make it fun, like make your own fun by having some sort of narrative that you're telling yourself. Hey, bro, who are you? Tr what are you trying to prove? Cover them up, slut. <laughs> I'm just kidding, buddy. It's okay. Live your life, champ. Be free. Um... Did I take both your quests? I did, okay. Where are we? Let's see. Bum, bum, bum. Listen! No, 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 no. Mine's different. I live in Southern Elysium. It gets hot out here. What's he got to prove? He's in a nice, cool forest, okay? He literally has a downstairs jacuzzi. I know what's going on here, dude. You can't fool me. Cover those up. Mine are like heat ventilation shafts. And despite uh, statements to the contrary, despite the accusations that these are tickle windows, they are not. This is to release excess heat from my body and combat. This is combat armor, baby. This guy, he's got some sort of weird commune going on, all right? Mine are ventilation shafts. This is like when your PC overheats. No, no, stop all capsing that. Stop saying that. No. Hey! I'm saying that it is not that. That despite the accusations otherwise, it is not that. Thank you. What brings, you here? What brings me here? I have a delivery. You're welcome. Next we need. Make this end my home. Thanks, bud. Yeah. Bye. Is there a shopkeeper in here I can sell some stuff to? There's a weaponsmith here, right? Who puts a weaponsmith in an inn? Pandora's box opened. Tata wind? I don't like that. I don't know about that. Gatekeeping being shirtless? Yeah, I'm gonna. I love gatekeeping. It's my favorite thing. <laughs> I probably shouldn't say that either in retrospect. <laughs> I'm just gonna sell this stuff. I don't think I'm gonna need the food as a hunter. I'm, I'm gonna be pretty safe-ish. Really don't need to repair my stuff either. Bye! Uh, but I would love a bowyer. Oh, perfect. Thank you. I love that the night elves are super conscientious of having a bowyer around at all times. It's very cool of them. It's very big, hot, sexy of the night elves. So am I ticklish? Uh, so there's a secret. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now. You guys want to know the secret to not being ticklish? Check this out. I learned this as a young, 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 uh, little lad. Uh, so the secret to not being ticklish. Also the secret to being really hard to carry. Go limp. You're ticklish because you're tensing up. If you're if you're if your muscles in your like on your sides near your ribs tense up, that's when you get super sensitive. If you go limp on your arms, you can't be tickled. It's impossible. You cannot be tickled. Tickled. They're just moving your flesh around at that point. It won't do anything to you. Also, if you don't want to be carried, stop like being rigid and like trying to fight against it, let your body go fucking absolutely limp, like dead limp, like just drop all your weight. You will weigh like twice as much suddenly because have you ever tried to move like a bag of liquid, like a big bag of milk or something like that? If you've ever tried to pick that up, it's really hard to move because it's, it's not a solid object, right? But if you pick up the same weight of a box, that's really easy to move around. Yeah, like a bag of milk. Yeah, be like water. <laughs> yeah, bilk. Exactly. I didn't get off my chimera shot. I fucked up. Ah! All right, that's fine. We'll just we'll just give him the old give him the old razzle dazzle. Watch this move. Ah! Da -da -da -da. Ah! Never mind. Fuck it. We're just gonna fight him. Damn, he kind of he's kind of fucking giving me the schwerk in melee though. I really don't want to melee anybody. Yeah, you would have to work together to pick me up. I'm pretty heavy, though. <laughs> I mean, look at me. Do I wear a wig? No, but I have. For cosplay in the past. No, my hair is beautiful and glorious all on its own. Thank you. I'm looking respectfully, as you should. Ruse is bald? Never. Not once in my life. My grandpa kept his hair until he was 87. I have the strongest genes. 
Don't worry about the cosplay. Anyway, uh, moving on. Uh, what else are we talking about? When will I wear wigs? Probably never. When did I cosplay? We're not talking about that. We're moving on. Uh, so, what else were we talking about? Hold on. Stop. Think. Use your brain. Uh, come on. New topic. Uh, you guys like spiders? Spiders are pretty interesting, right? Yeah. Even my jeans are badass? <laughs> sure, why not? Um, dude, that guy's out there killing everything. That damn hunter. He's able to track animals as well as I am. I almost miss playing a rogue suddenly, but I'm not going to switch. Don't worry. I do have, I, I am a bit of an altaholic. I do like playing alternative characters over and over, but I won't do it. I promise. I'll stick to it. What did I think about the GTA 6 trailer? Didn't watch it, actually. Wait, are you attacking me, dude? Hey, hey, I didn't hit you. Get off me. I only hit your buddy. You want to go? Am I gonna lose this fight? Nah, we're good. Nah, we're good, we're good. Man, I love this starting area so much. It's, I remember it pretty well, which is funny because I never really played night elves a lot. I was always a blood elf guy, but when I did play Alliance, I typically played humans or night elves. Uh, and I will tell you, I remember the human starting area perfectly. Like it is mentally mapped into my mind from how many human paladins I tried to run, but I just can't get past the human model. It feels so massive. Um, Blood Elves got my body type and I'm all about that. But you can't play Blood Elves in uh, Season of Discovery, so it is what it is. I do love the Blood Elf starting area too, because it hits the notes of the Night Elf starting area, except it's more like autumn colors, you know, like a lot of reds and oranges. Uh, but it also has a touch of that like, undead edginess because there's a lot there's this huge area in the middle of the blood elf area called the dead scar and it like cuts the whole map in half and it's like this area where um the horde first approached the blood elves i guess not the horde i'm sorry the um the scourge so there's this big like rift in the middle of it covered in like this black earth and everything in it is just undead and it's like these torn up like buildings and like land and nature's just gone from it and throughout the entire area there's this big scar of like undeath. It's very sick. Space goats, huh? I never played a uh, Drenna. I can't get over the male models. I just don't love them. I, it, they're just not my thing. Do you want to talk Dorito Bod? It's never been more serious than that. Yeah, the starting music in the Blood Elf area goes so hard. Ooh, we finally got a spider of silk. We also got a spider leg, which if I picked up cooking, I could definitely use. Do I want to pick up cooking on this character? Wait, this isn't hardcore. I don't have to. Never mind. Female Draenei are cute. No comment. <laughs> You're right. You're right. But I don't want to say it. No one's cute. I hate everyone. The Webwood Lurkers, baby. Why are you guys so aggressive? Be like the owls. Just chill. Just be normal. Super excited to Minecraft stream today? Hell yeah. That's a little later tonight, actually. Be normal, be normal, be normal, be normal. I'm being so normal right now. I'm being so normal right now. Minecraft exploration, let's go! How experienced am I in Minecraft? Great question. Um, yes, I guess, would be my answer. Sure. My answer, sure, yeah. I've played, I never beat the Ender Dragon, but that's just how I consume um, survival games in general. Oh, that's the other one I played a good amount of. I played a good amount of Valheim. I tend to just like really over invest in uh, the exploration side of open world survival games, and then I never eat, end up beating them. Like, I played Ark, but I never fought a single world boss in Ark. Um, I think the most I ever did was tame a T-Rex. Uh, and I played Valheim, and I got through the second boss to the third area, and I really loved that game. I want to pick it up again, but I never beat it. I played Minecraft. I don't even think I've set foot in the end. I played through, like, the Nether and things like that, but I've never fought the Ender Dragon or anything like that. And I'm fine with that. It's how I enjoy consuming those games. You stinky druid. You're just gonna kill my stuff? You could at least give me a little druid buff, you jerk. 
Oh, you're double pulling? You greedy bastards. Oh, there's that. There's the satyr. Zin, foul hoof. So Gerard's my pet? No, but Gerard's mama might be. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I like the building aspect of things like Zomboid and Valheim, okay? I don't like building in Zomboid as much. I don't feel like there's much um, expression of creativity in that. I mean, I'm sure there is, but from what I got to, there wasn't. Uh, but in Valheim, I really enjoy the building system a lot. I like that it accounts for, like, weight and makes you use things like support beams. Um... I like it better than I like building in Minecraft, but I still like building in Minecraft. I like finding ways to use weird blocks as decorations and shit like that, but it's never been my favorite part of the game. I can usually stomach making like a building or two, and then I just get a hankering for being out in the world. So I, I do a lot more exploring than I do building in those games. I love mapping things out. Like in Minecraft, I'll almost always immediately get a map, a boat, a compass, and I'll just go run around. Careful, careful, and Q, you'll see. Eventually, I'm going to say something. See, I'm only getting more base when you learn things about me until I say the one thing that you're like, fuck this guy. <laughs> but I'm glad so far you're having a great time with it. <laughs> and thank you for the soup. Yeah, I like to play with other people who enjoy the building because I'll contribute once in a while and like build my own building. Um... But I will say that Valheim is the only game I've ever played where I sat down and I was like, I was like building, building. Like I made like a little farm slash storage house. I made my own house. I made a uh, little blacksmith. I made a dock and a boathouse. I made a bridge that I didn't need to make just cause I thought like, you know, if I was in this world, I wouldn't want to like continually go over this gully. So clearly if I was a character in this world, I would have a bridge cause that only makes sense, right? Um. So I did that just for aesthetic reasons. So yeah, I think Valheim's the only game that's made me sit there and like build a town essentially and really enjoy that process. I need to find more, you know, being a hunter is so convenient. God dang, hunters had it nice and classic. Don't get me wrong, they had a lot of problems, but man, they had it nice sometimes when they were questing, especially early on. Because they can track beasts really easily. Other classes can track other things, like paladins can track undead and stuff like that. So in the later areas, sometimes paladins have it better, but man, hunters really had it made early. Like, not only is it easy to track things, you also get, like, I don't know, a free tank through your pet. So that's nice. I'm just going to go sell some stuff since I'm right here. It's not a long trip. I saw somebody earlier asked about um, StarCraft and the building in that's fine, but I'm not good at RTSs. That's actually where I struggle. I like the uh, micro game of it. Like I like uh, places bait inside a great bear's den. Oh, I have a quest to fight a great bear, I guess. I did not realize. I like the game of controlling my units. I don't so much like keeping up on checking my buildings and keeping the supply line rolling and making sure my guys are like harvesting minerals. Like, I'm the type of person who constantly has to hear, like, we require more Vespine gas because I forgot to do it. Oops. Uh, so, yeah, that's on me. Let's go get this bear real quick. We're going to head to the bear cave, which I assume is right here. See, Classic WoW, people complain with that, like, oh, if you don't have a quest tracker, Classic WoW was impossible. I'm like, I don't know, man. There's enough context clues, and if you read the quest, I feel like it's not that bad. I can assume this is the Great Bear Den, right? Like, there's a cave on the map. I'm in. Let's do it. And I like that feeling of discovery. So you're a MOBA guy. Actually, yeah, I like MOBAs, okay? I've played Dota 2, uh, Heroes of the Storm, um, League, obviously. I haven't played MOBAs in a while just because I kind of got burnt out after, like, years of playing them. Um, but yeah, they're fun. I like MOBAs. I like the concept more than I like the gameplay because people take them too seriously now. Oh, is it like around the bend in a little groove behind this giant tree? That's so cute. Oh, man. World of Warcraft goes so hard. They worked so hard to make you experience their zones. And again, not to make another comparison, I like Final Fantasy XIV. I think it is a prettier game, obviously, because it's more modern. 
But like, the way WoW made you want to be in this world and exploring it, just gave you like these little moments in like these little tucked in areas and didn't try to get you to fast travel everywhere. I don't know, man. It's hard to beat that sometimes. And I know modern WoW doesn't do that. So I'm not saying it's like better in every way or anything, but damn. Oh, dude, you want to fight me at a range? You're exactly who I'm looking for. I do so much more damage with my bow than my dagger. You're dead. You're dead. Yeah, I warned you, dude. Is this the right cave? Hold on. I better... I better... You know, we should actually read our quest. Hold on. Okay, okay. I do have to be in this cave. I, I do need to be in this cave. The music in here is kind of interesting. Favorite tabletop RPGs other than D&D? &D? Haven't been able to play any others, actually. Uh, Well, not any others. I played Pathfinder 2, and I liked that. Uh, I played 4th edition a little bit, very little, like half a session, basically. I played 5th edition. Um, once with my older sister's friend, I played, uh, just my older sister and I, we played, uh, 2nd edition, which is cool, because, uh, the friend had actually borrowed it from his dad, and that was interesting, because it was my first experience with D&D, &D, but I had no idea what I was doing. I think at the time, 4th edition was already out, so I was like, oh, can I play Dragonborn? And they were like, um, yeah, I'll find a way to make that happen, and they ended up trying to mod Dragonborn into the game for me, which really just meant I was basically playing a human that was skinned as a Dragonborn. And I ended up playing a fighter, or a fighting man, or whatever they called it, uh, with dual shields. I think I was dual wielding tower shields, so my AC was through the roof, but I had, like, no damage. <laughs> so my older sister was playing a paladin at the time, and would uh, was wielding a weapon called something i can't remember what it was in second edition if you had the stats to be a paladin because you had there was a stat requirement if you were good enough stats to be a paladin you got like a really strong sword just for free out the gate um so basically what would happen is i would push down hallways with my big double tower shield and then she would come up behind me and just start swinging the big sword at things that i was like dealing with it was very funny I remember that character died because we were fighting a wizard and the wizard, yeah, my sister opened the door first. Yeah, okay, here, here's what happened, that's right. Okay, sorry, it, it's a little foggy. I was a little itty bitty baby. Uh, not an itty bitty baby, I was the same age I've always been. Uh, <laughs> damn it. Uh, I, I, anyway, I, it was a while ago. I was the same age I am now. And my sister opened the door to this big boss uh, wizard's, like, door. And I think it was a gnome. And there was a glyph of fireball or something on the door. So my sister got taken down to, like, single-digit HP just for opening the door. Like, that shit exploded in her face. So then I ran in the room. And the wizard had, like, two minions and then cast invisibility on himself. So I was like, can I, can I tackle the wizard, like, out the window since we're up in a very tall tower? And the DM... Pretty cool guys, like, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, if you roll a 20, they're invisible. So I rolled a 20 and <laughs> tackled the wizard out the window. And then on the way to the ground, my dragonborn is just hammering this wizard's face with a tower shield while falling like dozens and dozens of stories. And they both hit the ground and died, but it was hilarious. <laughs> Hell yeah, Eggman, thank you for the super. I hope you're enjoying WoW Hardcore. It's the only way I play WoW, but I still love it. Hey, you're not supposed to approach me in melee. Hey, you're supposed to fight me in range. Yeah, it's worth it if you go out in a metal way. Anyway, I think that was the last session I played, but it was fun. Relax, Fell. I don't have any, I don't have loyalty to the Horde or the Alliance. It doesn't matter either way to me. I'm playing a uh, troll on my hardcore run. This is just for my, oh my God, I've been wearing cloth this whole time. I'm playing a troll on my hardcore run, but uh, my main are blood elves. Once again, congrats on monetization. Thank you. Thank you for the super. Memberships? Oh, I still got to figure out what I'm going to do for that. Man, what am I going to do? I can't do karaoke, which is fair. Hmm, I'll figure something out. Don't worry about it. 
What if for membership, I just stare at you for, you know, a full hour and we say, that's the membership stream. And then the next day I do an unarchived karaoke. <laughs> uh, no, I'm kidding. Uh, I would, oof, man, I got to get some practice in or voice lessons or something before I do anything like that. I'd 100% pay for that. <laughs> no, you can't do that. No, you can't do that. We're not doing that. I'm not staring at you for an hour. Uh, imagine the uncomfortable silence. Hardcore staring contest? Nope, can't do it. Not happening. Is that who I'm going to kill? Who am I going to kill? I don't even know what I'm in here for anymore. I really got to read that quest. I thought I was killing um, a bear in here, but I begin to suspect that is not actually my quest. My quest. Uh... Um, this matter. Oh, it's a satyr. Lord Melanus, the satyr. Well, he's got to be in here somewhere. I assumed he would be up here, but I don't see him up there. It's kind of weird. Let's go ahead and head up there and just find out, shall we? Oh, that's not the right way. Well, too late now. Damn, I'm not too close to use my poison, too, so I'm just going to fight him in melee. Oh, good, good. I don't know who's streaming our side yet, actually. I don't know if it's Gerard or Octavia or myself. Uh, I'm assuming one of us is going to stream it. I mean, I guess I can't be certain, but... Um, I know that none of us are really good at Apex, so I'll just... I'll cut your expectations short there. I promise I will play, like, two practice matches or something before that, so I'm not completely fumbling around, so I at least know, you know, the basics of how to move and shoot and stuff. Uh, but... Don't expect too much. Fudge, come on, come on, come on. Come here, shut up. Yeah, okay, that's good. If this were hardcore, I'd be really scared right now. But it's not, so. Beat us over the head with a metal pipe ASMR. Oh, yeah, I could do that. That could be cool, Levant. <laughs> Thank you for the super. Imagine if you win, though. Oh, I'm going to win. Mama didn't raise no coward. I might not know what I'm doing, but I'm going to win. <laughs> nah. I'd win. <laughs> I'm putting all of my faith into you guys. Great, great. Love to hear it. Thank you. Is this the way up? I think this is the way up. Nope, this is just a little back cavern. Never mind. Ah, old wow caves. How you vex me. All right, we're going to take the cheater's way up. See if I can aggro him. Oh, you don't want to come down? Oh, that's right. I forgot Old Wow had a system where if an enemy can't get to you, they just dodge everything permanently. Oh, they're both on me? Hmm. I don't love that. Hmm. Are you dodging everything still? Are you serious? All right. Fuck that. And fuck you. Mm, I gotta de-aggro him real quick and then get up there. What the hell? You dick. An hour of just reacting, huh? Mm, maybe. I don't know. It's not my favorite kind of content, but I'd consider it. Hey, what? I thought I could get up there from here. I'm almost certain I remember doing this. I was just a wee babe when I did this last. Don't worry, gamers. I'll figure something out. I'm a genius. You don't need to stress about it too much. Please don't curse me, dude. You, I hate you. I hate you. I hate you! Do I play any instruments? No. I don't know how to read music. I don't know how to write music. I don't even know what music is. There you are! I don't have to do this. I found him! The world of music is the last frontier of stuff I have no idea about. Like, I feel like I have a uh, baseline, like, surface level knowledge of many, many things. Why am I still in combat, dude? Ah! I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die in here. It's a good thing this isn't hardcore. All right, be playing this a little more carefully. Can I just... You fuck off. Thank you. Woo! Do I want to learn? I think so, yeah. 
Um, I'm torn. The thing about music is that I kind of like it being completely foreign to me. I kind of like that I can enjoy any music. Because I have like a, you know, I have mm, delicious soup. Man, I would kill for ramen right now. Like a real, like, genuine bowl of delicious, like, handcrafted ramen. Oh, I used to get a seafood scampi ramen with, like, salmon. Oh, my God. I'm going way off topic. Hold on. Let me let me do one thing at a time. Thank you for the super. You got me thinking about ramen. Um. So... As far as music, are you fucking me right now? God bless it. All right, one thing at a time. How long is cool down on this? 10 seconds? Great. But I can't use it in combat, I don't think. So I'm kind of screwed here. I think I'm going to die unless this guy dies in like a second. Can I beat you with half HP? I've got nowhere to run because this area is swarming with orcs. By nightfall, these hills will be swarming with orcs. Um, Do I have any items that can save me from this one? Nope, I'm pretty screwed, actually. I think I'm dead. All right, we just have to die and come back. That sucks. That's annoying. Fuck you, man. Luckily, Night Elves actually turned into Widow Wisps. Uh, that's one of our racial traits, by the way. One of our special skills, which is such a weird one because it kind of encourages dying. Night Elves move faster in death form. We turn into Wisps instead of ghosts of ourselves. And we travel faster toward our bodies. I don't know why. Okay, so I'm gonna stay on topic, I promise. Here we go, I'm gonna start over. I'm gonna start over real fast. I kind of like music being completely foreign to me because I like that I can enjoy it no matter what. I have a... Whoa, I'm definitely not sicking out my yacht for the Roosler. <laughs> Thanks for the Supa. Uh, I have a lot of music friends who seem to not be able to enjoy music at a baseline level anymore because they could pick it apart and they understand it the way I understand video games. Which is to say, I think a lot of people would come into a game and just be completely smitten with it and taken aback and just be like, wow, this is so cool and this is such a unique mechanic and blah, 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 blah. But when I play a game, the reason I'm so quick to like understand it and have a baseline skill level in it is because I played enough games that I understand the universal language of games. I understand how lighting is used to guide you forward. I understand like how developers put in certain things to like tell you how to do a puzzle and shit like that. And a lot of my music friends are like that for music where they're like, I know that this isn't like uh, two fourths time or whatever the fuck they want to say. I don't, I don't know the actual wording for it. Um, or I know that this is like they're using like a, a break beat here to get you feeling excited. And because they understand the the language of it to a degree, it takes away the wonder of it. Does that make sense? And that makes me a little bummed. I don't want to lose that. Um, and then some of them are like, oh, this, this song is too mainstream. It's boring and it's just like every other song. It's so generic. I'm like, I don't care. It sounds good, dude. Like it just, it sounds good to me. Like I don't give a fuck. Like I enjoy it because it's generic, I guess. I don't know. And I don't want to, like, understand music to a degree where then I would not enjoy things because I, I understand their core. But on the other hand, music's beautiful, and I do want to understand it because I want to make music at some point. It would be cool. Are you coming up here right now? Man, I hate you guys. Are you going to win? I think you're going to win, aren't you? Unless I dodge a lot. I guess I have a 10% higher dodge chance. So there's What the fuck, man? Fuck! Where did you even come from? God damn it. We're going to have to go reset the whole fucking dungeon. This sucks. I am going to die on the way out, but we're going to have to come back down one at a fucking time. Ah! Oh, classic wow. Anyway, that's okay. So here's a good example, by the way, of why hardcore wow is fucking scary. Because at any moment, that could happen, except I'd stay dead. <laughs> All right. Back to it. Again. Oh, man. That's got to be hurting the durability of my armor. Oh, yeah. I'm down to half durability. Oh, yeah. That's bad. Oh, well. Oh, you have a quest? Wait! Depends on the person. For me, the right song helps add wonder. Yeah, I could see that. I could see that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm torn. I'm, I'm almost certainly going to learn music at some point. Uh, the other side of that is I've been told most of my life I'm pretty tone deaf. And I mean, 
I think that's probably true, I guess, to a small degree. Um, so trying to work my way past that is going to be difficult. But hey, I know, baby. I do things I'm uncomfortable with. I can do it. It's been a bit of a sore spot uh, as far as confidence goes most of my life. But I mean, hey, I'd be a I'd, I'd be a liar if I uh, didn't, you know, try to tackle that anyway. And I I am not going to be that person. I'll handle it. What did you just do to me? Oh, man, come on. You guys are dicks with these debuffs. Do I have a button for zoom ins? Sure do. So you do things out of spite. Sometimes, yeah. Bloodhounds is amazing. Okay, so the thing is, I sung Bloodhounds, yes, but I sung Bloodhounds with Octavio's vocal guide, which means I was literally, I would, I would have to do it a line at a time, listen to Octavio, and then parrot it. I was parroting. Like, I hear what he says and the tone he says, I parrot it, but if I tried to do like the whole song, I would be out of beat within like two lines, no problem, easily. But I'll figure it out. I mean, if I, if I, I mean, like, there's been musicians who have made music being not just tone deaf, but completely deaf. If they can do it, I can do it. I just need to find a workaround. I need to like figure out how timing works and count in my head, or I need to figure out, I, I don't know. There's something I can do to fix it probably. Or maybe I'm counting the wrong thing. I've been told I focus too much on uh, the vocals of a song, which is why I get out of rhythm. Like, apparently I'm supposed to be focusing on the, the, the drums or the bass, which is keeping rhythm. My, oh, I, the hill was blocking my shot. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, you got too close before I can use Chimera shot. Will I cover some song later? I think so, yeah. I would do a cover. I've been talking to uh, Shikamane about possibly doing a cover at some point, so we'll see. Oh, here comes some druids and hunters. Hey, wait a minute. Whoa, a sharpened letter opener. Is that better than my dagger? It's about the same, but I like that it's called a sharpened letter opener, so I'm going to use it. Okay, these guys are going down the same path, so I'm going to journey with them. You know what? Fuck it. Let's go together, baby. Let's just get this dungeon done. I don't know if I have a favorite song. Try listening to some J-pop or J-rock. The lack of understanding the lyrics helped me to figure out how to follow a song uh, outside of vocals. Hmm. It is a shiv. Yeah, I haven't listened to a lot of J-pop or K-pop. Whoa! Thanks for the free super chat. That was totally free. You definitely didn't have to pay for that. You had to pay for that. What are some artists that I like to listen to? Okay, so here is how like alien music is to me. I, throughout most of my entire life, have never learned artist names or song names. Like when I hear a song I like, I'm like, oh yeah, I like that song. And then when I try to tell people, hey, I like this song, they're like, what song? I'm like, you know, the one that goes kind of like, uh, sticking out your gut for the Rizzler. And they're like, what? I'm like, uh, I don't know the name. It's like, uh, and then I have to like sit there and really fucking think about it for a while, you know? Uh, and they're like, oh, like this band? And they'll be like, oh, you know, like, uh, fucking, I don't know, uh, Creed! And I'm like, who? No, not them. And they're like, no, that's who that is. I'm like, you sure? They're like, yeah, that. I'm like, okay, if you say so. That's when you Google the lyrics. Yeah, 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 yeah. Basically, I Google lyrics. And I'm like, oh, okay. I guess that's the song I like. Yeah. So many ranged Night Elves. I should have played a Night Elf Warrior. I feel like that's like the least played Night Elf, which is weird because Night Elves make incredible warriors because of the passive dodge rating. Oh, well, we aggroed both. Let's get it on, baby. That zoom was unexpected. <laughs> Casual car radio listener. I haven't listened to the radio in fucking forever, but yeah, sure. And we're really getting torn up here. All right, hold on. Let me just get this guy with a little bow, 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 bow. There we go. All right, now we've traded aggros. Good. Oh, uh, we are actually getting kind of swamped. Despite being in a three-man, we're in a bit of trouble here. 
Uh, gamers? Dodge that. Wow, we almost got messed up. That was kind of scary. Now to make our way out. People saying that Zoomer is actually Alpha? What are we talking about? I, I, I lost the conversation when I almost died there. I totally lost focus. Yeah, I mostly use Spotify now. And even then, I don't know. I, I, I don't keep up on music very well. I, uh... I know there's really, really good music being made. Uh, I just, I don't know. I don't seek music out. I, I listen to video game soundtracks. It's about it. This guy's got three heads. Yeah, I am a little sad because there's probably a lot of music I forgot I love because I don't know the artist name or the song name. So that makes it so that, like it's really hard to track them down later, you know? Favorite OST. I really like Skyrim's OST. Not kidding. Jeremy Soul goes super hard. One of the best uh, video game OSTs ever made. I like the Ocarina of Time soundtrack. I like uh, Risk of Rain soundtrack a lot. I like... Um, ooh, um, Faster Than Light soundtrack is incredible. Uh, I've never played Nier Automata, so I wouldn't know. I made a song, what genre would it be in? Probably, uh, fucking... I don't know. Uh, shitty Midwestern emo. <laughs> uh, ska. No, <laughs> no, not ska. Um, I don't know, really. I don't know. Road Warden's OST. I don't know if I've heard Road Warden's OST, really. Do they know a faster way back? I think they know a faster way back. I am going to leave the group. Uh, I'm going to give him a little thanks. Oh, I disabled my chat. That's right. Never mind. Bye. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I like Toby Fox's music. Toby Fox is great. Uh, Undertale had a great soundtrack. Obviously, Megalovania goes hard. Almost, uh, not almost all of, but there's a couple really, really uh, super good fucking bangers that came out of Homestuck. If you guys haven't listened to it, go listen to Solix's Ancestors song. It's called Gold Pilot. Go listen to it. Uh, it goes so hard. It hits the perfect faster than light vibes. You're right. Music's a learned skill. Thank you, Jax. And thank you for the super. Oh, and Iron Knight goes hard. I know James Roach made some really good music for uh, Homestuck era. Mega Man's music goes hard. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and uh, Castlevania music. Oh, my God. Have you guys heard the... Um... I just play Genshin, so I'm learning a lot. Do you play any gotchas? Uh, not really, no. I don't really like gotcha games for the most part. I think that gotcha games can be done right, but oftentimes I find them incredibly predatory, and and I'm not saying this is Genshin, but I will say that a lot of gotcha games, it feels like substitute gotcha for gameplay. They substitute the feeling of progress that comes with gambling instead of just making a good fucking game. Um, and I'm just not going to do that. So. Oh, anyway, I was talking about Castlevania in the music in that. Castlevania's music alone by itself is really good. But I know that I really, re I picked up recently a song that is a cover by, uh, it's between the Megas and a Castlevania cover band. Um, it's called Stalker, and it's like the theme of the Medusas in Castlevania, and it goes so fucking hard. The chorus for that is like the most fucking singable chorus I've ever heard in my life. It's so good. Go listen to it. Right now. Right now. Like, turn it on in the background while you're watching this. Oh, I also really like the Proto Men. I think the Proto Men are great. Uh, yeah, I believe I, the only reason I would play Genshin for the most. All right, so here's the thing: uh, I don't like Genshin's gameplay. I don't think it's a bad game. I think it is probably one of the best like gotcha game combat systems there is. 
But to me, it is still very much a game that was made for mobile and it does not entertain me. It does not engage me. I get bored playing that game. Um, I understand the appeal. However, if I was ever going to play Genshin, it would be because I really like their world building and I like their character design. I think they're, that is where they excel. Their actual world is beautiful. The character design is great, but the gameplay makes me want to pull my eyes out of my head. And sorry, Genshin, I think your game is fine and it would be fun on the phone, but I really just don't play phone games. So it would just, I, 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 could, I wouldn't stay engaged long enough to enjoy it. I got that zoomer brain, you know? I gotta be like constantly being like pushed to my limits in my games. But Genshin's world building and uh, character design, top tier. I understand why people love it. I understand why everybody cosplays it. It's a good fucking, uh, I mean, they know what they're doing. They're good at it. Mm -mm. Yeah, that makes sense. Hold on, let me get a little sippy of my uh, of my stamina potion, my jitter juice. Uh, I've never played Nike, I don't know. Like I said, I don't really play phone games, unfortunately. So if it's a phone game, you could pretty safely assume I've never touched it. I played Raid Shadow Legends once when I was very bored at a security job. They had me watching the crystals that had like uh, views all around the, the shop. Yeah, so that got boring and I played a little Raid and I was like, eh. This kind of takes my mind off it. That was about it. Raid was okay. That's another game. You know what's weird is I feel like a lot of gotcha games like Raid and uh, Genshin, they do character design really well. Have you ever looked at the models in Raid? I mean, some of them are a little bland early on for the early designs, you know? But like... They got really good at that. Like, their models are actually really good. I was like, damn, these are pretty cool. And I love their Lizardmen. Their take on Lizardmen was super cool. I feel like a lot of people think it's cool to just hate on things um, passively. And I have complaints about almost everything, including WoW. But you got to look at the, like, upsides of things too, right? Like, it would be unfair of me to just be like, this game's terrible all the way through because blah, 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 blah. It's like, it's, it's funny to, like, uh, clown on raids sometimes, but there's good parts of it. There's good parts of that, and there's devs who put a lot of time into that and worked hard on that. Hey, bud, you might want to slow down. Hey, man. I think you've had enough. I get it, though. I get it. I've been in that state before where you're like, you've drank enough that you're dizzy, but you don't want to lay down because then you feel like you hopped on a roller coaster. I missed what somebody said back there. Sorry. But anyway. I have beefs against male character design in Genshin. I think Genshin suffers from anime design in a lot of cases, um, which is sometimes just a stylistic thing. You know what I mean? Like some artists just don't really want to draw different body types. And it's not because they're like, I don't think it's because they're necessarily being unfair more than they just sometimes don't have the capability of doing that. They don't have the practice to do that. Um, but as a dev team, yes, they probably should. Uh, obviously, they kind of did Edo dirty. Uh, they probably should uh, work a little bit on that. And, mm, well, it is what it is, I guess. Uh, and uh, sometimes it's just a budget constraint, you know? Like, sometimes, like, well, we already have the skeleton for this model. We just want to put, like, we want to overlay the skin onto the skeleton and call it even. Yeah, I like armor design in my games. See, that's the other thing about gacha games that turns me away is maybe it's the egotistical prick in me, but I don't like playing games where I can't feel like I made my character, like I'm a part of the character. Arataki Ito Implants Fund, give him the milkers he deserves. Thank you very much. I'll send that straight to uh, Genshin right now. So in games where I can't customize my character, like if I can't change his armor or change the way he looks or design a character that I feel like feels like me, like, yeah, this guy's not what I look like, but I guess if you gave me a couple dozen thousand more years and I grew a beard and my hair grew out a bunch, I could do this. Add a little black in there. Or dark, 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 dark brown, I guess my hair is. Maybe it's black. Maybe it's like lightish black. And really platinum blonde? 
Or maybe like really dusky gray. Anyway, I could be this character given enough time. And typically that's why I play Blood Elves because they share my body type. I like Blood Elves. I like having, you know, occasionally I'll wear my hair really long. So it makes sense. I can rock that vibe. And my hair tends to be really flippy when it's long. So it works. Uh, and that's why I like that. Uh, in games where they kind of pick my character design for me, like in Genshin or in something like, um, oh, I don't know, uh, the Yakuza games. Sure, whatever. Just pick a random game. Uh, I'm like, man, I want to be able to customize my character. I want to feel like I'm in this game. So it bums me out. It's not the end of the world. Some games do it really well. Like, I mean, I could self-insert on Link all day. That's easy peasy. <laughs> but, but... It really depends on the game, you know? Um, Cause there's some games where it's like, I would never want to be that character. Like I love making characters that resemble me in Dark Souls, but in games where like, like in Metroid, for example, that could only ever be Samus. I don't feel like I want to like be Samus. I like Samus's story for what it is. Just like I like Tales of Symphonia for the characters that are in it. Like, I don't want to be Lloyd. I like absorbing Lloyd's story. I like absorbing uh, Kratos' story through that game. So, you know, it's tough. It depends. It depends on the game. But games like Genshin, where I feel like you do have a main character, but you're not allowed to customize the main character, that bums me out. If it's like a silent MC and I'm not allowed to be that character. I don't mind that, though. Just the knowledge that the face is under it, Nicholas. Like, yeah, I spend hours customizing my character just to slap a helmet on it, and I'm totally okay with that because, like... I still know what's under that helmet. I could still like kill a big monster, pop the helmet off and just feel the feeling of like, yeah, I just, I just, I just fought this guy. And then I dramatically grab my helmet and rip it off. And I'm all covered in blood and sweat and muck and grime, but it's cool. And I'm standing in the sunlight, one knee propped up on this motherfucker, my ax in its torso, staring into the sky, like breathing heavy. Like, yeah, yeah, that just went down. My hair's all tousled and fucked up, but it's sick. Cause I know under that helmet, I'm still there. After everything, it's still me. <laughs> what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was supposed to go back to that cave. No, I did the cave. I was supposed to go kill uh, night sabers. I got distracted. Sorry, gamers. We got to talking too much. Despite everything, it's still me. That's what I meant. <laughs> Like cover girl, but with gore. Exactly. Oh, oh yeah, I died, so I lost my beast tracking. I'm like, why am I not seeing any night sabers? Did I lose my monkey stance too? Yep. Increasing my dodge chance by 8% is actually pretty wild, especially since night elves already have passive dodge by 1%. That's a lot of dodge. That's like a lot of dodge, actually. What is my dodge rating right now? I don't know if you could check that in Classic WoW. Can you? I thought there was like an extended stats page you could check. I don't remember. Yes, I have played Undertale. No more teeth, let's go! You know how it is. Uh, it is hard to stack evasion in WoW. Um, because you never get evasion from items, as far as I know. Unless it's, like, a special appellation. There might be, like, one or two items in the game that give you extra evasion. Um, but for the most part, you only get it from talents, traits, things like that. I'll explain talents once we hit level 10, because that's where the game really branches out. Maybe there's an option I can do that shows extended stats. Eh, whatever. We'll figure it out. Uh, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. It's not worth pausing the uh, entire uh, flow of this, of, of us hanging out for me to figure that out. Yeah, I've never played uh, Lisa. I hear it's good, though. 
You know what game I want to play at some point is I want to play the God of War games. Not the originals. I always found those to be testosterone driven fucking uh, slap fests. I might be wrong. Maybe I gauged them wrong. But the friends I had who played those games were always like, yeah, dude, it's so hardcore. And then you fucked Athena or whatever. And I'm like, eh, whatever. But I do want to play the ones where he's a grizzled dad. I might be completely wrong, by the way. I know somebody, somebody right now, or some, you know, somebody two hours from now is gonna watch a clip of me saying that. They're gonna be like, um, actually, Woos, that's not based. You're the worst person I've ever met. Get out of here. And I'm gonna be like, hey, dude, I'm not saying that's what it is. I'm saying that's the impression I got from the people who enjoyed those games. So if you enjoyed those games, that's totally fine. Um, that's cool, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> Do the voice. I don't think I could do the voice. What's he sound like? Uh, boy. 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 <laughs> oh, Rach, do it. <laughs> That's mine. Oh, sh <gasps> I missed my poison shot. <laughs> Never mind. We're good. That's still recharging. That's still recharging. Stop it. Oh, my sharpened letter opener looks like a little shiv. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> I love that. That's beautiful. I got to get a new bow, though. My bow sucks. I wonder if I'll get one as a quest reward. Yeah, that's fair. I feel like the game would definitely have more impact if I had played the original trilogy. And I understand that the original trilogy is at its core a tragedy. But it's schmecks of, like... 2010 era hyper masculinity. Not that that's a bad thing. Masculinity's totally chill. But the type of masculinity where its entire identity is like, I'm tough. I'm hard. I don't feel emotions. I'm angry all the time. I only like beer, chip, women's. I only like fighting, fucking, and my truck. And that's probably the wrong interpretation, but that's what I get from it. <laughs> Isn't that you? No, because I'm not afraid to be vulnerable, baby. I'm not afraid to feel my feelings. And you shouldn't either. I'll bake on stream. I'll wear a stupid apron. I'll wear my baking battle armor because I ain't a baby. <laughs> being masculine is super cool. I love being masculine. But being vulnerable is one of the most masculine things you can do, and you should do it. Uh, okay, I can do that. That'll be an easy one. We'll just go get a couple fell cones real quick. Am I man enough to cook a steak? Yeah, I've cooked a few steaks. I'm not great at it. You know what I don't know how to do? You know what I've never done? I've never grilled. I've only ever cooked steaks, like, stoked up. Like, seared steak. You know what I mean? Um, which is a bummer. I've also once, I once air fried a steak, which actually went kind of hard. I was surprised. I was like, this is going to ruin that steak. But it went hard. I want to grill, but I don't know how to do it. Now my dad, my dad grills real well. Oh, there's a Falcon right there. Gavis Battle, is that you, Clown Senpai? Welcome in, uh, Battalion. I will not be joining your guild, Worthless. As worthless as I am, I'm good. No guilds for me. How'd your stream go, Battle? What'd you get up to today? Honk. Why are we honking? What are you doing? <laughs> Hey, welcome to the Dark Carnival, my wicked motherfucking brother. <laughs> Hi, Battle. How's it going? What were you up to today? Why are we honking? Honk! Honk! Who's Bubbo? Are you calling me Bubo? Is that like a Warhammer 40k insult? Is that what you're calling me right now? Oh, that's your raid battle call? You guys have a battle cry? I want a battle cry. Damn it. I can't take Deus Volt. I don't want that one. I got to think of a different one. <laughs> Ruse, it's not an insult. It feels like aggression. It feels like you're here for a challenge. You want to honk at me? I'll show you honking. Uh, honk. Kajonk. <laughs> Oop, that's a spider. It was a prank. 
I was kidding. Go away. Smush him, tree. Smush him. That tree's not going to smush him. Run. Okay, we're good. Isn't theft a swear word in 40K? Girl, I don't know. Um, Yes? I, I don't know. I know that boobos is something that, like, Nurgle worshippers will say sometimes. Like, they'll be like, oh, my beautiful boobos. But they're usually talking about their weird, like, cysts. I almost slammed my brakes with the Dark Carnival thing, bro. I was not ready. I hope you're not driving while you're watching. <laughs> I'm looking for a uh, fell cone, so look out for like weird, stinky Grinch green dust. Sorry, Battle, you made me think of the Grinch. When I think of the Grinch, I th or think of you, I think of the Grinch now. Um. Damn, why are these so hard to find? Why can't you ever take a compliment? Because I don't want it. I think it all started when I lacked positive affirmation as a young boy. Oh, wait, there's a cleft in this tree? That's cool as hell. This would be a cool place to log out. Belly roleplay. Shrimp! Heaven! Now! God, I love that story. The Mabim Bam one? <laughs> Daniel, we can't keep doing this! <laughs> All right, I'm gonna find these. Hold on, just wait a minute. Oh, right, uh, hi, welcome in. My name's Crimson Ruse. I'm Elysium's greatest monster hunter and I'm your least favorite idol. Uh, currently I'm playing WoW Season of Discovery, which is super fucking fun. And I'm looking for fucked up stinky pine cones. Oh, a fucked up stinky pine cone. Hey, thanks to that priest who buffed me. Griffin McElroy, your sweetest babyest brother? Hi, I'm Griffin McElroy. I'm I'm the youngest baby's brother. Welcome to our podcast. <laughs> what do I feel like you could do a good Deku impression? Uh, I don't know what Deku sounds like, unfortunately. Shrug. Untitled Goose Game. I've never played it. You know what I don't like? You know what my mortal enemy is? Geese. Geese are my mortal enemy. And I know you're not going to like to hear that. I'm sorry, Battalion. But the fact of the matter is, if it's the long-necked waterfowl, I don't like it. I have been in an eternal war against geese my whole life. I once fought a goose. Goose's hands are shaped like that because God made my hands for gripping those necks. <laughs> That's going to be... Goose is going to come at me, and he's going to expect me to run away like every other human. And then when I grab him right around the throat, he's going to be sitting there like... <gasps> What the fuck? <laughs> I got nothing against you, Betel. But geese? Geese are my enemies. They're, they're mean. They're aggressive. They want to take your french fries. One once bit my finger because it thought it was a french fry after I gave it a french fry. I don't like geese. I find them very vile. What about swans? Swans are even meaner. Not that I've ever confronted a swan in one-on-one -on -one combat, but I am convinced of my ability to handle it if I have to. Yeah. We're gonna find that stinky, stinky pine cone. See, if everything wasn't green out here, it'd be a lot easier to spot these. I've never been chased down in a pond by a goose, but I wouldn't put it past them. Do I think I could handle battle in a one-on-one -on -one fight? Uh, what are Bettle's combat capabilities? Swans might be massive, but I'm massiver. How swole could a swan possibly be? B? Bill? B. Bill. You know what? Fuck it. Bill. His strength is negative 10? Hmm. Do a mean 360? I think... On luck stat alone, battle might whoop my ass. It depends. It depends on what we're fighting over. <laughs> what am I fighting for? Hey, there's just a food crate laying here. Hey, that's mine, dude. Nothing like robbing random houses and RPGs. As a whip, max luck and phantom. Yeah, that would be a rough fight. I mean, I have a negative one luck, so. Hmm. I thought he had like five star luck. What? Oh, it goes both ways. Okay, so it's a 50-50. It's just a coin toss in that case. That's not where I turned my pinecone quest in. Uh-oh. Where did I turn it in at? Ah! Ugh, landed it.
Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, that'd be a pretty even fight. Sure, why not? I don't know who'd win, but I'll tell you this. I'm ready to find out. <laughs> Wait, what am I doing with these Felcones? Do I do Maybe I gotta do something with them. Hold on. Crown of the Earth, fill my jade vial, blah, 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 blah. Seek out, yeah, star breeds. We gotta go back for star breeds. Uh, uh, what does this guy sound like? Um, uh, uh, uh. I was once given an emerald dream catcher from Gerulos Talvathan. The Warden of the Druids in Bainathil Baroden. This powerful amulet is able to siphon energy from the Emerald Dream, bestowing luck upon those who carry it. Sadly, I have not been able to retrieve it from my dresser in Starbreeze Village. Although Starbreeze was once a tranquil place, it has now succ succumbed to the corruption of the Furbolg that reside there. Perhaps you would be willing to re recover my Dreamcatcher, Hunter? Sure! Why not? I got it. Let's do it. I think I'm supposed to fill this here, right? Nope, that's wrong. Oh, Starbreeze. Okay, so we gotta go to Starbreeze anyway. Either way. Oh, I gotta take these to Zen Thalhoof. Perfect. I was gonna do that anyway. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, thanks, I guess. You can fight a goose while doing a goose honker edition of Fly to the Bumblebee to intimidate it. I could do that. Which one's Fly to the Bumblebee? How's that sound? I don't know what that means, but okay. I'm die. Thank you forever. Why? What just happened? What are you guys talking about? Oh, the voice. Pfft. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Zen, Foulhoof, are you out here, bud? He's dead. He's dead. I think we're all waiting for Zen Foulhoof. All right, I'm going to go do my Starbreeze quest. I'll come back when there's not a line. I don't want to cut in line for these guys. Wait, they're leaving. Never mind. I'll wait. <laughs> they don't know he respawns. Oh, just in time, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get clapped, nerd. <laughs> Was I supposed to do something? Do I get some quest reward for that? Or I guess I just got XP. Cool. All right. Well, we're off to Starbreeze. Let's do it, baby. <laughs> Murlocs. <laughs> Mad VA skills. Thanks. I think. I really got to do some sort of like actual VA thing at some point. I want to do like uh, one of the, uh, the demo reel thing. Yeah, I should do that at some point. Yeah, I'd play Animal Crossing. I don't see why not. I don't like Animal Crossing as much as I like other farming type games that have like a little more objective to them. Um, not that I play a lot of farming games, but I want to play a Harvest Moon game or I've never played a Rune Factory game. I want to play one of those. Ooh, or my time in Sandrock. If I can get uh, perms for that, that'd be cool. Ooh, I forgot this village had aggressive enemies in it. Right, 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 right. That's fine. Maybe I could just kind of sneak up in here real quick. Choo -choo 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 -choo. They'll never know. How are they going to know? How will they know? Oh, I got so many buffs. Thank you, druids and priests. Anything up here guarding this? Nope, we're good to go, baby. This is easy. Oh, well, you're dead, bud. Wait, you're alive! Thank the force, bitch. You are here. I knew Atheros would send help. Er, since trouble and send help. The Gnarled Gnarl Pine tribe has been corrupted. But once peaceful furbogs have turned against the protectors of the forest, they ambushed me. As I left for Bane of Thilberodin and proceeded to pillage Starbreeze's village. Ursal the Mauler, their chieftain, is using the evil powers of the Felmoss to drive them mad. I am too wounded to return to Arthredas to bring him this grave news. The task is left to you, young hunter. We can only hope that the deranged gnarled pines have not made it to Bane of Thil yet. They have made it. They have! That's all right, bud. We'll get it done. Uh, mm. Am I supposed to do something here? I think I'm supposed to kill some gnarl pines. Yep. 
Gnarled Pine Ambusher slain. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Oh, I gotta find the Emerald Dreamcatcher, which I think is in this little house up here. Ah, wait, 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 wait. Let me hit you the chimera shot. Thank you. <laughs> Don't parry. Oh, I, I parried. No, he parried me. Are you seriously gonna parry me right now? What the fuck, dude? That's fucked up and evil. Die, filth! <laughs> All right, so let's be a little careful. We don't want to get uh, gnarl pine ambushed by these little guys. Parry this, casual. That's still okay. Is there two in there or just the one? I think I only see one. One more shot. Ah, damn. I should have pulled back. Oh, well. Monday 1.6 update. What's the 1.6 update going to do? Oh, for Stardew Valley. What the hell? Well, this is new. His head seems to be missing something. I don't think this was here last time, but I'm going to shoot it. Oh, it just heals. Huh. Okay. Interesting. A book. A book. A runestone. This isn't it. This is the wrong house. We're at the wrong house. There we go. This one over here. Okay. I wonder what that's about. That must be something for a season of discovery. This has got to be something for like a different class. No doubt. Oh. Yeah. The thing, hmm, I'm torn. I like Stardew, okay? I like the concept of Stardew, but I don't know. I struggle to stay engaged with it a ton. I like the idea. Maybe it's just that I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Night, Squidgem. See you tonight for my, uh, Minecraft. Yeah, Minecraft. Yeah, I don't know if it's too grindy or if it's just like, there's an owl statue here that wasn't here too. I wonder if this has something to do with priests. I bet the priests in Night Elf uh, starting areas use these owl statues for runes or something because they worship a loon and a loon's animal is an owl. So maybe these are for priests. But then what's this for? Rogues maybe? Warriors? Druids? It is wooden. But then what do hunters do for runes? I need to find more runes. I want to find more runes for my season of discovery. Don't tell me, by the way. If anybody knows, don't you dare tell me. I want to discover it on my own. Anyway, let's kill some gnarl pine ambushers, wherever they are. Um... Oh. Never mind. That's on the way to Darnassus. So I guess I'm good here. I could just leave this area. Yeah, maybe that's my problem, is that it's a dating sim with farming on the side. I don't know. I feel like part of the problem is I feel like maybe the days are too short for me. Like, I just can't get enough done, and I don't like that feeling of pressure. It's one of the reasons um, I struggled with the first Pikmin game. I don't even know if I ever beat the first Pikmin game. I just didn't like having the, like, constant timer hanging over my head. You know what's weird, though, is I do like the timer in some things. Like, I like the timer in... Uh, I was going the wrong way. I was heading back toward the starter zone. I like the timer in Risk of Rain, actually. Man, I want to play the new Risk of Rain so bad, but I got to get perms first, which is a huge bummer. I want to play it right now. Tasty. How long have I been going? Oh, only an hour and a half. We're fine. I can make it to level 10, probably. Uh, no. No, I cannot play Risk of Rain 2 right now. But one day, 
one day I'm gonna I'm gonna work on it. I'm gonna work on getting those perms so I can play it. Um Poo-poo games, my beloved, please. <laughs> Never played Nuclear Th Throne, no. Hi! Helldivers? I haven't played that. You know what I do kind of want to play is, um, what's that game? Uh, I want to play Marauders at some point. I think that seems like fun. Okay, Gnarl Pine Invaders were seen ravaging the ba uh, Banathil Barrow Den to the west. Okay, the druids are trapped there, journeying to the den. This staff is actually really good. Plus one stamina this early in the game, and look at how much more damage it does. I would need to train with staves, though. Where do hunters train with staves? Probably with the... I would assume night elves train staves. Or would it be humans? Hmm. I've never played Blasphemous, no, but I would like to at some point. That's a damn good early game staff, too. It's a lot of damage. Uh, I'll check in Darnassus to see if they can train me with staffs, uh, but the problem with that is that I would need to be a higher level, I believe. Is there a hunter trainer in, out here? It's probably out, like, outside. Are you the hunter trainer? Yep. Oh, classic WoW. Game's chill as hell. Ooh, now we are cooking. I just got a brand new ability. I don't remember how to, there used to be a way, I don't know if you can do this anymore, but there used to be a way to macro it so that whenever you use Hunter's Mark, you also shot and then immediately shot a Serpent Sting. It was like the opener combo, but I don't remember how to do that, so I'm not gonna bother. Anyway, Hunter's Mark makes it so enemies take an additional 20 damage from ranged attacks. It is only good for Hunters because they're the only mainline ranged attackers in WoW, so it's kind of a bummer, but it's still cool. I don't think it applies to spells as the big downside, so it doesn't even help mages in the party, but it's still cool. What other JRPGs have I played besides Tales of? Um, hmm, good question. Uh... Hmm. I played Tales of Symphonia. I watched my older sister play Tales of Abyss and Tales of Vesperia. I played Final Fantasy VII. Way, way, way past its expiration date. I got a free PS1 from somebody and played it. Um, but I never played the third disc. I played Octopath Traveler, but never beat it. Uh, oh, thank you for the soup, Jax. Favorite class in D&D is either fighter or rogue. Um, I play wizard once in a while, but eh, here and there. Um, I played Fantasy Star Online 2. I played Fantasy Star Online on the GameCube, but I didn't have internet. Um, so that didn't go great. <laughs> uh, damn, what else have I played? Never played Star Ocean, no. I've heard great things about it. What other games have I played? Fuck. Hmm. JRPGs. JRPGs. Oh, I played Fire Emblem. Uh, Radiant Dawn. I don't remember if I beat it. It didn't stick in my brain very well. I tried to play... Uh, uh, what is the one? Ah! Uh, I tried to play... Awakening, but I didn't like it a ton. And then I tried to play Three Houses, and I really, really was not vibing with Three Houses. I never even made it to the time skip at Three Houses. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. There's some, but here, I don't know. No, I've never played Bravely Default. Iron Man Run? Uh-uh. What's that? What happened? Okay, Relics of Awakening. Retrieve the Wells. No, 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 to the west. West? Oh, it's west of Dolinar. I went the wrong way. I went east. I'm an idiot. Never mind. Ha ha. I'm a fool. Nuzlocke, but for Fire Emblem? That sounds terrifying. I'd be very sad, but I'd probably try it. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> yeah, that's fair, I guess, Yen. So much walking. I've never played an XCOM game either, but I would like to at some point. If you think this is a lot of walking, keep in mind that Classic WoW required that you could not pick up a mount until you were level 40. And even then, at that point, it cost so much money in Classic WoW that 99% of the player base probably could not afford a mount by level 40. So you were walking a lot. And it took a while to grind up to 40. I'm talking like dozens of hours easily. But... Hunters were even more spoiled than you thought they were and that hunters actually get a uh, aspect of the cheetah at level 20 Which makes them run 20% faster when they're not in combat So not only do they get a free tank the ability to track quest markers a lot of the time um, Some of the safest leveling in the game range combat magic damage physical damage uh, And like a cool mini game of like taming different pets and stuff They also got a half amount for free at level 20 <laughs> Who's putting down a, who's cooking in here? Who put down a campfire? Uh, but Paladins at level 15, if you were playing Retribution Paladin, which is part of the talent tree I'll explain to you later, did get um, um, in the Pursuit of Justice, which made them 15% pa faster passively, uh, which is pretty cool, actually. There's your dream catcher. I hope you're happy. Okay, hold on. The Emerald's missing. Oh, not north of Starbury. Dude, I just got back from... Okay. Ah! I had to find Ferocitas, the Dream Eater. That's a, that's a Gnarl Pine name, all right. Good luck. Ugh, fine. Yeah, Bane Death is pretty good. Basically, if you want to play, if you want to play um, hardcore, but you're not super confident, thank you for the super. Um, if you want to play hardcore, but you're not super confident in yourself, or you haven't played Classic WoW, just play a Hunter. The but 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 one big downside of Hunter, one big important downside that you do need to know. Thanks for that delicious, delicious hot dog. I could go for a hot dog right now. Oh man, or ramen. I know we were talking about that earlier. The big downside of Hunter is that you have to feed your pet. And that is a lot of work sometimes. So if you want pets, but you don't want to feed them, Warlock is a very good alternative. Warlocks also have a lot of emergency escape buttons, just like Hunter. Hunters also lose an entire bag for ammo, which isn't that big a deal, but can be if you don't like going back to town very frequently. Oh, jeez, Roos. Your class comes with a free Tamagotchi? Sure does. So I guess I got to go north up here into this little clearing over there. Yeah, locks have their soul shard back. Basically, both of the pet classes lose a bag, but that's a small price to pay for having a guaranteed tank and a and like four uh oh buttons. Like hunters, not only have the ability to get out of combat really easily with like disengage, uh, feign death. They have a pet that can tank, so if your pet dies, you know it's time to run, or if they're getting close to dying, so you have like an early warning sign. Um, they also get just a lot of abilities to get people off their face. Uh, warlocks get their pet. They get life drain, they get a health stone, they get a soul stone to resurrect with if they die. I don't know if that works in um, hardcore, but if it does, that's a huge, huge, huge buff. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of reasons to play both classes. Ooh, I almost picked up Warlock just to play Tank Lock in this, but I wouldn't be able to play a Night Elf, so I said, nah, I'm going to play a Melee Hunter, I think, is what I want to do. Okay, so this should be the Gnarl Pine camp we're looking for. Yeah, this is it. And we're looking for mystics. I need to get closer. I need to get closer. Oh, now that we got our cane shot, we are cooking. So the combo is this Hunter's Mark, which increases range damage by 20. And then we use Serpent Sting in a au regular auto attack. So that's 20 nature damage over time, a regular auto attack. We fire our Arcane Shot, which lets us do a little bit of extra damage for a second. 
and that does 13 free damage. We lace in another auto attack, and then we fire Chimera Shot, which does 40% of this damage up front, resets it, and does 125% auto attack damage. Man, we're hitting hard. Let's go, baby. Quick maths. Oh, hey, there you are, Ferocitas, the Dream Eater. I was looking for you, dude. Oop, yes, friends. Uh-oh. Would I ever be isekai'd into WoW? Uh, I'm going to be real with you, gamer. Most people, if they're isekai'd, are just going to continue doing what they're doing. Like, if you were isekai'd tomorrow, are you suddenly going to go pick up a sword and start fighting to the death? And I mean, like, the, re the reality of getting tons of cuts and wounds and injuries and bodily harm to you every day, all day. I mean, yeah, I already do that, so maybe. But... Uh, I don't know. It's it's kind of the same as where I'm at right now in Southern Elysium. I mean, I guess there's like more variety of monsters I could fight. So maybe there's no corruption beast out here. So that could be cool. Hell yeah. Thank you, Ali. Ali Lottle? Ali Lottle? I think it's Ali Lottle. Ali Lottle. And thank you for the super. Man, are you fucking me right now? Ugh, all right, that's fine. Let's finish him off, and then we turn to him. Dude, stop interrupting me. Oh, he wasn't interrupting me. Fuck, I was facing the wrong way. Fuck, 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 fuck. All right, we go this way for a second. I got to turn and face him as he hits me, though. There we go. Okay. Don't hit me, 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 don't hit me. Ah! Ah! Man. This is going to get me into a state of mind where I'm playing super carelessly. And I'm going to go back to hardcore and get absolutely wrecked. Yeah, that's the other thing is a lot of people are like, uh, if you got isekai what would you do? I'm like, I don't know. Study magic, probably, depending on the setting. If it's a setting where, like, like... You could just do magic if you study it hard enough. I think everybody would study magic. I, it's always weird to me in settings where it's like, oh, uh, in, in this setting, if you just like study magic, you know magic. I'm like, why would everybody not just study magic? Like that's the equivalent to like technology now. Like, yeah, the generation before magic discover would maybe be like, I don't, I'm not messing with that newfangled shit. But then every zoomer in that world would study magic. Everybody. What if magic's regulated by the government? I mean, good luck. You're gonna have a lot of hedge witches. <laughs> Cause no one studies nowadays. Okay, yeah, I don't study fucking math, dude, because I don't give a shit about long division. But if you're asking me, do I wanna hold unlimited power in my hand and be able to summon fire from the sky or like fly to work? Yeah, I'm gonna study it. <laughs> A level nine warrior. Man, that's a lot of mystics. That's actually kind of scary. No wonder I got wrecked. Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. Uh, thank you for the super, super late to send this. Uh, thank you for the congrats on the monetization. Uh, Nyx. Nyxuki. Oh, I see. Like Nyx, like the goddess. Ah. Parker Trash has finally able to catch stream. I was the one who sent you the arcane video essay. Nice. Thank you very much. Super glad to have a streamer that feels just comfortable to nerd out with. Always love hearing your thoughts. Thank you. You're safe to nerd out here, but I will call you a nerd. <laughs> oh, he killed my guy. Oh, man, respawn rates are great on this server. He really said, no more waiting for respawns. We've had enough of that. I missed, I missed, I missed, I missed. I won't miss this time. I won't miss. That part was sick. No spoilers in uh, um, Armored Core 6, but that part where Rusty said, I won't miss, and then pew, was so cool.
Oh, no, not Westfall. Do Night Elves quest in Westfall? I thought we quested in whatchamafucket. Bud, are you afraid to charge them? Because I'll join you for it. Don't be afraid, bud. We can do this. No, 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 no. Go ahead. Charge him. Charge him. I got you, champ. Here, watch this. See? I targeted him. Go, 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 go. Yeah! Now we're cooking. Oh, he hit my guy. I think he hit my guy, that little fucker. He hit my guy so he'd get the credit for the kill. That dick. Did he? Nope, I got it. Meh, meh. I'm out here trying to help you, and you're going to hit my guy? Fucked up and evil, bro. Westfall only if you want. Darkshore's fine. I'll probably do Darkshore. Am I winning? I mean, I'm getting actual questing done, if you can believe that. What is that? Qual! Decipher the scroll with a comprehension charm. Oh, mages get to do like... Oh, what? Oh, it's season of discovery. Mages find spell scrolls to learn new runes. That's so cool. What the fuck? That's class identity right there, baby. That's sick. I'm gonna go give that to a mage. Oh, wait. There's no mages for Night Elves right now. Never mind. I remember people on Twitter were asking uh, what they do if they asked... If they were asked to get in a East Guide in Dark Souls, it's like, I guess die. Honestly, you know what's funny is I feel like Dark Souls is one of the settings I'd be okay-ish in. If the only, like, way to lose in Dark Souls to go hollow is to give up, I think I got it under control. I'm pretty durable. I've dealt with a lot of bad shit in my life. I think I can handle it. Like, I don't know. I, I, I want to believe I'm the type of person with the mentality where there's nothing that could truly hammer me down enough to make me be like, I'm just done. Hello, and welcome. I think that, like, the thing about Dark Souls setting is essentially you're just gifting me immortality at that point. It's like, oh, well, in that setting, like, if you, you'll you die over and over again, uh, but you don't really die as long as you don't give up. I'm like, okay, so I'm basically immortal. What you've told me is I'm in a setting where I can't die. I can never lose. Ooh, there's another stinky pine cone. Perfect. My last target. All right, we're good. We're done here, gamers. We did what we needed to do. We came, we saw, we murdered. Um, yeah. Hello and welcome in. Yeah, the Pokemon universe would go hard. That'd be a ton of fun. A hey, health potion? That's free real estate, baby. Um, I don't think... Can I use axes? I guess I can, huh? I know that I cannot use shield. So we'll drop the shield. We'll take the potion. I'm not going to bother with any um, profession classes on this character because who knows how long I'll be playing it. Uh, I'm impressed you clocked uh, Finarail as an elf name the other day. That's what I named my first WoW tune. A Night Elf Druid. Loving the WoW streams. Thanks! I think my last Blood Elf I had was named like Lorcan or Lorcan. Lorcan. Something like that. Mm-hmm. Most of them have just been ruse, though. <laughs> Hello, and welcome in. Hi, Gecko. Hello. No. Wait. Doesn't your throat hurt from that voice? No. It's just how I talk. <laughs> if it hurt, I wouldn't do it for, like, 24 hours a day every day. An Elder Scrolls reference? Hmm. Night, Shiro. All right, so we're done with those quests. We can head back, uh, turn in these two quests, and then I can go west, deal with a few more furbolgs, and by then I'll be level eight, which is getting me ever closer to having a pet. Are your vocal cords made of literal steel then? No. Just how I, what? No. <laughs> Maybe if you chew enough glass. How can I sound as rough and cool as Ruse? Okay, so here's the thing. I'll explain the backstory. I'm sure some of you have heard this one already. Um, when I was young, I fell into a river and I was trapped at the bottom and I thought for a long time I was gonna drown. 
But then I realized that there was an air pocket. There was air bubbles coming up from the bottom. So I started scooping gravel into my mouth and just chewing on it. I started chewing away the gravel as fast as I could. And then as I did this, it created a bigger and bigger pocket of air. And I realized it deposited, deposited into an underground cavern. And I fell into that underground cavern. And there I could breathe. Yep. Yep. That's what happened. True story. Yeah, good luck with that. Don't don't almost drown. <laughs> oh, my bow's getting really weak. I'm a little sad. Can I sell this? Sorry, mages. There's no mages here, so I'm just going to get rid of it. All right. So, turning in our quests this way, apparently. Naruhardo. He became one with the gravel. Wow, that was so inspiring. Can we get 400 likes? <laughs> wow, that's so sad, chat. Uh, can we get 500 billion super chats? <laughs> oh, no. True sad story. Oh, this guy sounds gruff as fuck. I gave him a soft boy voice, but he's out here like, After the battle of Mount Ijal, we were without direction. No water cell smoked from the fire it unleashed, and our immortality, the very essence of our beings, was lost. I w it was in this trying time that the betrayer offered us an egg, and Shondo Storm Rage disappeared. A dark time for all. Okay, I'll do that. Bye! Uh, fill the tourmaline, there's another one well, southeast. Near the entrance of Darnassus? I'm heading that way anyway, bud. Southeast, got it. South, wait, east? Southeast, over there, okay. Batman! Where? Film narrator? <laughs> In a city, this summer starring Taylor Swift as Crimson Ruse in the action-packed drama Nobody Asked For with Danny DeVito as Gerard. With action. Get down! Comedy. <laughs> Romance. I love you, mijito. And more action. Get down again! Uh, so what you're saying is you got your voice from Minecraft. Yep. What's my favorite bug Pokemon of all time? Probably Volcarona. But Paris is a close second. Ooh, and Spinarak. Starring Little Tortilla Boy. Uh, yeah, that's where that was from. Holy shit, that's right, actually. I remember that. Wait a minute. That is what that's from. <gasps> Whoa. You're right. That's, uh, it was, no, it was Dwayne the Rock. Jo no, wait. Who was the who was the guy who said that? It was some sort of comedy bit. Ah, oh. what was that guy? I think I saw that on a fucking AMV. I think I saw that on like a Naruto AMV. Pablo Francisco. That yeah, that's the guy. <laughs> You guys remember AMVs, anime AMVs? You know what I'm talking about? When people would play like fucking, uh, what was the song everybody always used? Um, fuck me. Uh, Animal I Have Become. Animal I Have Become, they would always put that over like fucking Sasuke AMVs. <laughs> Where am I going? I thought it was Southeast. Southeast is down here. That doesn't make any sense. It's Southwest, you lying bastards. Maybe he meant Southeast of Darnassus itself. Why, what is over here? Why is this? Uh, there's like a secret gnarl pine camp here. What is this? But there's nobody here. There's nothing here. Go away. The flashbacks are so real. Oh my god, that person's almost dead. They got in some spicy fight. Angel with a shotgun. Angel with a shotgun. That's some something about that sounds familiar. Mm hmm. Angel, angel, I'm angel, angel, I'm, I'm, I'm an angel with a shot. Yeah, I know that one. 
Ruchan, you are very long lived. You have pointed ears, fangs, and you are not an elf. How do you handle garlic? I love garlic. It's delicious. Churches? I don't think I'm allowed in them anymore. The sun and the letter T. <laughs> the letter T? It's chill. Uh-huh. Get out of my head! Get out of my head! <laughs> Are you asking if I'm a vampire? Because I'm not. I'm not a vampire. And I'm not a Belmont either. Need hollow stuck? <laughs> I don't think we need hollow stuck AMVs. Are you an elf? I am not an elf. I don't know if there are any elves in Elysium. Maybe? I don't know. I'm just a little... I'm a normal human. I'm a regular average human guy. Come on. Uh, be weird about it. Okay, bring the package to Danilan at Lake all a meth. Fuck! I was just there! Damn it! Alright, well, we'll go this way first. Fuck! I, what? Oh, okay. Shit. Uh, all right. I got to go back to the lake real quick. Hold on. We're going to go back to this town. I'm going to turn this quest. We're going to go to the lake. You know what? It's just more time on the road to shoot the shit with each other. How about that? How about that? Can you use magic by any chance? Uh. No. Um. Anyway. Yeah, it's just the roost starting screen. <laughs> Yeah, the soundtrack here goes hard. I do like the soundtrack here a lot. Soundtracked? What the hell? Why do I keep adding letters to the ends of my words today? Are you sure about that? Why are we zoomed in? I like zooming. Zooming creates visual interest, and it means I get to grapple your face. <laughs> I cast fist! I love how you control your expressions. Well, I do that with my face. <laughs> the same way you control your expressions. Just be expressive. Really exaggerate those faces. You know, do it do it like those TikToks. <laughs> oh, I can't put my finger up to my chin, but you know what I'm doing, you know, like Oh, you can Kokichi? <laughs> That's cringe! That's a lie! <laughs> Thank you, Psycho. I, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting my wisdom lowered. Oh, I knew it. I do get to turn it in here. Okay. Dongle Bump on uh, Jump Scare. I've never played a Danganronpa game either. I, or Danganronpa? I never played a Danganronpa game either. Who keeps cooking in here? But I did watch a playthrough of the first one, so I, I have a vague idea of what's going on. I think I like the baseball kid the best. Are you part corruption beast? No? No, I don't think so. I hope not. <laughs> I've killed a lot of corruption beasts. What brings you here? Why does this fucking music play when I walk in here? Are you evil or something? Like, why does that horror sting play when I walk in the door, bud? Should I know something about you? Do you have a fucking confession? Why is it so when I step in this door and no other building do I hear... <laughs> You got something you want to tell me? Just like nose to nose? <laughs> hey, are you hiding something? <laughs> I'm kidding, but I'll put my shiv away. Sorry. It is Wednesday, my dude. I'm playing WoW, so it's clearly Wednesday. Ow! Ow! Okay, so I don't have anything else to sell. He did not give me a new quest, which is actually kind of great because I don't want to do another quest for him. I just want to get the quest here done. I'm going to head down to this lake. I'm going to do the quest line here. I'm going to come back here, get my hunter skill, and then we are going to go to Darnassus. And soon we'll be level 10 and we can get a pet. It's choose die, isn't it? Thank you, Cassandra, for the super. <laughs> 
it's Ruse Day Tuesday? Or is it WoW Wednesday? Who knows? I'm pretty sure I remember having to kill these guys for a quest or something. So that's probably the quest I'm about to pick up down here. I think he's on these docks. Let's go to the docks. What pet do I want? I'm debating between Spider and Owl as my first pet. But I also wouldn't mind heading to the beach and picking up a crab or heading to Duratar and picking up a crocodile. But I think that's the only place you can get crocolisks. There's no actual crocodiles in this game, but you can pick up some sort of hybrid between crocodiles and basilisks called a crocolisk, which is cool. He's not here. Did I miss him? Oh, there he is. Okay, so he is close to the docks. I could grab a Scorpid. Yeah, Scorpids are cool. I like that spiders have the web ability, though, because it does mean that I can kind of just keep people off my, uh, off my junk. Oh, this guy's a little softer. Ah, it's here. I have waited for this rare earth for quite some time. I hope it's still fresh. Thank you for bringing it to me, Rosader. You are a night elf who is generous with your time. Damn straight, dude. You know how much cardio I did to get here? Now let us place this rare earth in my planter. Let's back up a bit. Thank you again, Rosator. The rare earth will be very helpful in my experiments. Okay, no problem. Don't you Ishnu alarm me? The timberlings of Teldrassil are elementals of nature. In some ways, they reflect the natural order of the plants and animals of our great tree. So, it is disturbing to see how angry the Timberlings have become. I believe it has something to do with the soil. I've been working on different methods of nurturing plants, and would like you to try them on Timberling seeds. Please, can you gather seeds from the Timberlings around Lake Alameth and bring them to me? Sure, dude. Uh, what else you got for me? Small Timberlings are sprouting around the waters of Lake Alameth. I'm afraid these sprouts are beyond help. We should try to clear them from the land before they grow large enough to cause trouble. When you're wandering the lake, if you see any Timberling sprouts, please take them. Help keep our land clean. Okay. Uh, ooh, sorry, a super. You're not a vampire or part corruption beast. Why are your ears pointy and why do you have fangs? Great question. Uh, I born that way. I saw we. I saw we. I born that way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a guy, guys. Yeah, I'm just a guy. I'm just a dude. Am I supposed to kill Timberlings? I wasn't really paying attention. Um... Maybe I kill them to get the seed. Yup. All right. So we are killing. Okay. So we're killing and we're gathering and we're killing and we're gathering. You kill that one. I'll get this sprout. Thanks, sport. Thanks for clearing that out for me. I'm the guy I hate. I am the evil I see in the world. <laughs> yeah, I'm just a little guy. It's just my birthday. I'm just a little guy and it's my birthday. Sorry, Wolf Rain, and good luck. Bruce is clearly human. I mean, he's got like a normal human age. Probably, like, I don't know, 600s or something. Yeah, average human age. See what I'm saying? Thank you, Eggman. You get it. <laughs> he saw <-y. laughs> I forget what the fuck that was from. I think I, I, I got to stop watching so many TikToks. <laughs> I feel like the TikTok audio just echoes in my head all the time. Oh, happy birthday, Mari. I missed that. It's not actually my birthday. I lied when I said that. Don't, don't, don't think it's my birthday. It's not. Dude, I don't even have TikTok. Well, I recommend you get it. There's some really fucking funny people on TikTok. I'm not going to lie. Wait, you guys aren't also 600 years old with pointy ears and fangs? Come on! Get with the times, guys. What are you doing? You're falling behind. You're lagging a little bit. 
Oh, my bow's durability is going down. Check that out. That's not good. Uh, that's okay, though. We'll figure it out. How low is my durability? All that di dying didn't do great things for me. Three. Woo! I'm, I'm a human just like you. Damn! Tarzan before he plays. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Hey, that counts. 4.6 billion. That's, you know, pretty average age. Oh, hey, there's a free one right here. Lucky! Hey, Roos, do you read comic books? If you do, I recommend you uh, read a power bomb. It has wrestling and necromancy. <laughs> Interesting. I've actually, you know, I feel like there's a lot of people who are super into wrestling. I don't know. I just, it never hooked me. I've never really been into wrestling. I kind of want to get into it now, though, because everybody keeps talking about it all the time. But no, I don't really read comic books. Um, I don't have anything against them. I just, I don't know. I feel like the medium can be a little slow for me because I have to keep procuring comic books, you know, to keep going. And I'm like, man, I just want to like mindlessly turn on the TV or something or like watch a TikTok or read a web comic. Like I just want it to be there. Oh, sorry. I take back the happy birthday. My bad. I didn't know it wasn't your birthday. <laughs> Someone said it. So I just was like, oh, okay. It must be then. No, 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 no. I don't have a Zoomer brain. Listen, I've got the patience to sit there and read when it counts, all right? Actually, I've been meaning to get back into reading um, the Wheel of Time novels. I read the first three, and then I kind of gave up on it. I feel like the guy is really wordy for no reason. You know what else I've never read? And you're going to hate me for this one, because I'm a big fucking... I'm a Lord of the Rings super fan for the movies, but I only read uh, The Hobbit and The Fellowship. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Tolkien's a great writer, uh, but my God, that man loves to prove that he knows words. And I'm like, I get it, dude. You know words. Please relax. You gotta settle down. Not just that, he puts a little too much. The dude was so terrified of like somebody proving him wrong about the geography of his world that he puts like, Chapters and chapters and chapters and chapters into making sure that he knows exactly where the characters are at any given moment. And that is absolutely bonkers to me, dude. He's just like, yes, they were exactly 300 feet away from Bree at this point. And if the sun was in the sky at a 45 degree angle, then uh, technically if Aragorn was over in fucking Gild Gilgaladheim or whatever the fuck, then he would definitely also be able to travel to Bree um, for sure within that time frame on foot. Like that only makes sense. And I'm like, dude, like no one's fucking sitting here and taking a protractor to your world. Like, it's okay. You can just say he made it. You can just say he fucking made it. No one's gonna be like, um, actually Tolkien, that's not true. The average speed of a swallow unladen by a coconut. I have no idea, Armadillo Gardener. I know that Tolkien wasn't super fond of C.S. Lewis's writing, um, but I don't know if they stopped being friends because of it. I think they were still friends to a degree. They just didn't like each other's novels. Yeah, some people are like that. I know, but I'm just like, man, you went way too far. I, the world building Tolkien did was insane. Best world builder that ever lived. Writing multiple languages for your characters and stuff, super cool. Figuring out like why things are named what they're named and what their history is and what battles were fought there and like that kind of shit. Again, super cool. But man, man, you gotta settle down. I can't read 57 paragraphs of like walking. Yeah, that makes sense, Trekkie. That checks out. Listen, I think Tolkien's an incredible writer. I think he is a product of his times. I think it was more common to write like that back then. Um, and that's fine. Just in a modern context, I find it hard to stay engaged. You know who's a really, really good... Well, no, okay, hold on. 
Let me preface this with a very engaging writer, a subpar writer in many ways, is the guy who wrote the, um, I really liked uh, my read through uh, The Name of the Wind. However, that guy cannot write women to save his life. And I know he's admitted that and he's working on it. So good for him. But my guy, his writing's very engaging. His writing style is very engaging. But his actual writing reads like an isekai main character. I'm like, holy shit. Am I reading a book about fucking Kirito? What is happening? Yeah, Patrick Rothfuss. Great writer. Incredibly, incredibly engaging. He knows how to drag you from paragraph to paragraph. He writes action pretty well. He writes dialogue pretty well. Um, but his ability to write women is impossible. He just can't do it. And he's working on it. But yeah, it's very much like every woman that exists on screen is either to ingratiate themselves to the main character in some way or to be taken care of by the main character. The protagonist was very OP. You're right. It did read like an isekai in a lot of ways. Homestuck is the best isekai around. Yes, I'm not kidding. I know you. I know that sounds like a joke. I stand by that statement. It is the best written isekai there is. The characters go through great arcs. There's a lot of development. They start off as shitty people. They grow up a bit. They learn to not be as terrible. They're fallible. They're flawed. The characters that should die do die. Uh, except for Vriska, she should have stayed dead. That would have been really, really good for the narrative. I know a lot of people love Vriska. That's cool. But her arc would have been much better and much more narratively satisfying if she stayed down. Um, but... The, game, the, the, the comic itself is very well written and the characters are great. Uh, last time I took the test, I was a Knight of Doom, to answer your question. So what if you were isekai into Homestuck? Um, I don't know, I'd just do it. Get it done. Make my own universe. Be a god, I guess. Where's my last seat? Fuck's sake. Ah, classic WoW. Killing the same mob 27 times for your last single drop. Listen, Vriska's actually a really good character. I'm not going to lie. I think Vriska is like a... Vriska has a lot of problems. Okay, how are we turning this into a Homestuck chat? It's fine. For those of you who haven't read Homestuck, ignore me for a second. I'm just going to quickly go on a tangent about a character in Homestuck. Um, so Vriska is a very well-written, fallible teenager who has a lot of problems and was raised in a very abusive environment. And none of that excuses actively crippling one of your friends, assaulting them, Killing multiple other friends, facilitating the death of other children, and just being the worst, and being so egotistical and narcissistic that you have to be important to the point where you are willing to create an unkillable god demon so that you can be the one to maybe beat him. Like, she chose to make the ultimate villain, knowing it would happen, and manipulate events into it happening so that she could be important to the narrative of the story. She was aware on some level she was in a story and made a villain to fight the villain. And then she lost. And then she died. She would lose to the villain guaranteed. And she doesn't care. She thinks that the only way to find redemption for her being a shitty person is to create a villain so heinous that only she can beat it and then lose anyway. That is not okay. She's a shitty person, but a well-written person who thinks that she's not a bad guy. And I think that's good. That's impressive. That's good writing. Cloth? I don't want cloth. I'll just take the mail to sell it. Hey, thanks for the mushrooms, bro. Bring Timberling Seeds to Aurelian Greenspire and Darnassus. Yes, okay. So we're on to Darnassus, gamers. Let's head back to town. We'll go to Dolinar, grab our hunter skills, and then we'll head to Darnassus. We need a reading for membership or something? Maybe. <laughs> now I want to read it. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it. It's very wordy. The first three chapters are... Honestly, I really like the first three chapters before they introduce the trolls. Um, it's a lot of, like, coding jokes and nerd humor. Um... I think it's really good, but it's going to be a lot of dry. It's it, Wow, it's going to be really dry for a lot of people. Like, really dry? Um, It isn't until about chapter four that they get into, like, making it more character-driven, I think. And then in chapter six, it turns into teen drama, and I stopped liking it much, but it's okay. It has its upsides and its downsides. It is abysmally paced. Some of the worst pacing you're ever going to get out of anything. Oh, 
Oh, wait, I was supposed to get my hunter skills. Haha. <laughs> Sorry. Ooh, he's almost got a quest for me. Once I get level 10, he's going to have my quest to get my pet. Look, someone's got a bear. Whoa, you got a lot of skills, bud. Can I afford all that? Yes, I can. Cussive shot, raptor strike. Nice, 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 nice. Let's grab our new level of raptor strike. That's right, baby. In classic WoW, you had to replace your skills with higher level skills because the lower level skills cost less mana. In some classes, it was actually more efficient to keep the lower level skill on your bar because you just didn't have enough mana to make it work. I agree. The Gamzee Terezi Kismasis drama was terrible. I hated it. I agree, Aaron. I. Uh, Hussey definitely wrote themselves in a really rough corner. Uh, the Unconventional Heroes book series is great. The main character is a necromancer whose weapon is a shovel. I love that. That's great. That's super cool. I think you should criticize and praise all media. I think that to blindly love something or to blindly hate something is foolish. It's easy to do either or to anything. Um, and there's some things I just won't tolerate in my media. Uh, but, eh, I mean... It doesn't mean I blindly hate it. It just means that the, the ick was too much and I couldn't get past it. I could still acknowledge the good things in that media. Never read Problem Sleuth, actually. What the hell? Ah! Never mind. You're just level five. <laughs> you scared me, bud. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I do care about media. I care about media a lot. I think uh, media literacy is pretty important. I think it's important to understand like what the media is trying to convey and the tone behind the media. Octavio, is that you? <laughs> Octavio doesn't sound like that. Leave Octavio alone. Quadrants were interesting for one reason. I think a lot of people hyper fixate on the quadrants because they like shipping content. And like shipping's fine. I don't care if you ship. That's okay. I'm not like an anti or pro shipper. I don't give a fuck. Uh, personally, I don't participate because I just don't care that much about romance in my stories or romance in general, really. Um, but if you like it, I mean, that's cool. But I think the quadrants are interesting solely because I do think alien species would have an alien concept of romance to what most humans have. And I think that's pretty cool. I think that's an interesting way of writing. Originally, I think it was a joke just to fuck around and find out. I think the author, Hussy was making fun of people who were like super shippy. But then it stopped being a joke and started being an interesting world building exercise of like, hey, aliens would have an alien way of approaching romance, right? And I think that's really awesome. Exactly. It was satire, originally. But I think it evolved into good world building. Night, Banshee! Also, hi, Sarah! At first, it was very much a deconstruction. It was making fun of shipping. I've seen a lot of people draw you as rust blood. Would you agree with that assessment, or is there another blood color you'd rather be? It's, uh, teal bloods all the way, baby. Why? Because I'm a Libra. I'll just be a teal blood wearing crimson. No big deal. You know, maybe I'm a sufferer. Maybe I'm a, uh, <laughs> a sufferer adherent. Yes, I think there's a lot. No, there's a, okay. So there's a lot of valid reasons that opinions polarize heavily on Homestuck. And one of the very valid reasons opinions polarize on Homestuck is because the fan base was a bunch of fucking kids and they did stupid, dumb kid shit. And they made the, the, they, the webcomic itself had insufferable parts, but almost everything that came out of Homestuck that was insufferable came from the people who consumed Homestuck, right? Like the shipping wars, the, the Sharpie bath, the stupid bucket spitting shit, that stuff, that came from the fan base being dumb children, doing dumb children things. The comic itself had some iffy shit and really 2010, like, edgy humor but for the most part it was within the bounds of being an okay narrative it does use a lot of slurs that's true uh however uh joculatrix joculatrix if you use the homestuck collection the unofficial homestuck collection you can actually uh grab a mod for it that just removes all the slurs and replaces them with other things if that helps 
I personally read it slurs and all, and I think that to a degree, it says something about the characters that they stop using those later, at least some of them. Um, and I think, I think that I don't take like personal offense to it. And maybe that's just my privilege talking or whatever. Um, but I think that a lot of people just don't want to read those. And I understand that. So you should look into getting the mod that takes out the slurs. It is kind of, okay, so I'm torn on that, right? So this is maybe a little too heavy of a topic for uh, what we're doing right now and for fucking a VTuber stream, but it does come down to your own personal, like, not biases, but uh, the things that are gonna affect you mentally. If it's not good for your fucking mental, just don't do it, dude. Just take the one, take the version with no slurs, for sure. Um, do I think it like says something about the characters and is important to their characterization and growth later? Yes, so you can take the slurs out, but the character Dave Strider was a 13-year-old boy in 2010, so he was slinging slurs. He was saying some really shitty stuff he shouldn't have said. Does he grow out of it? Yes. But it was an important part of his growth as a character. So, uh, again, if it's bad for your mental, don't consume it. But just know that the character was kind of a piece of shit originally. Wait, I'm not supposed to be here. I'm supposed to be outside of here. There's an area southeast of here I'm supposed to go to with like a well. Bring the Timberling scenes to Rally and Greenspire. Okay, so I do need to bring one to the Scenarian Enclave. The road to Darnassus. I'm supposed to kill Gnarlepine ambushers on the way here, and I forgot. Yeah, rewriting things doesn't mean they didn't happen, and I think that's important. I mean, it's the same. You can't like erase bad shit, right? You can't erase bad shit from history. Like, you can't erase. Uh, I don't know, like World War fucking two, right? Like you can't just pretend that didn't happen. You can't pretend there wasn't like financial, cultural, historical, racial biases that fueled that war. You can't erase like the foundation of like the Revolutionary War or whatever. Like that shit happened. It sucks. You can't get rid of those sins. Uh, it sucks that happened. You can acknowledge it. You can paint it in a bad light and you should because it was a bad thing. But, like, pretending it didn't happen serves no one. War never changes. What about remakes with creative liberties? It depends on what you mean by creative liberties, I think. I think remakes are fine sometimes. And I think, like, painting it in a modern context helps a modern audience consume it in a lot of cases. So depending on what you're doing, I mean, yeah, go for it. I think, like, erasing the original message is a bad idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as you're still conveying what's important about the story, I don't mind. Like, I consumed, uh, what did I watch? I watched the, uh, uh, Netflix Voltron. I thought it was pretty good. I thought it mostly stayed true to what I assume old Voltron was about. I don't know. I never really watched it, but it doesn't seem like people had a huge complaint about it. I think the biggest complaint was that, A, it focused a little too much on drama, and B, it didn't have enough of the actual mech in it, right? But I think it was a good recontextualization for a modern audience. Uh, and that's chill. But... I think that there was a lot of things about it that were mm, maybe a little iffy. And I think the fan base, like many fan bases, kind of made it hard to tolerate at times. So a lot of the time, I just consume media without ever acknowledging the fan base. So shrug. Dude, can you get off me? I'm trying to head back to Darnassus. Can you just not be a freak? You're seriously stunning me every hit, huh? Okay, we got to do the old turn and face him when we get hit trick. Solo player all the way. <laughs> Steven Universe was... A yeah! So I watched Steven Universe. I liked a lot of Steven Universe. I will say I... Hmm. How do I put this in a way... <laughs> how do I put this in a way that's not going to get me in trouble with the government? I liked Steven Universe. I did not like the conflict resolution at the end. I think... That 
it is important to teach that you can talk your way out of a lot of situations and you should always try to extend the olive branch, but there are times, there are places, there are people, and there are sins that cannot be forgiven. There are, if you conquer entire galaxies and genocide entire peoples, there is a time when mathematically the correct choice is to eliminate is to remove the, per the, the, the value from the equation that is massacring people. There is a time when forgiveness is no longer an option. There is a time and a place and people that you cannot reason with that will not come down from where they're at. Um, and I'm not saying it's on you to be the sole arbiter of that, but I think that in the case of Steven Universe, it was an incredibly naive picture to paint to tell people or children in this case, I guess that like, yeah, you could talk your way out of anything, no matter how bad someone is. Um, that's a beautiful sentiment and you should always try. It is not always gonna work. You should always try. I agree with that. Whether he forgave them or not, the fact that all he did was basically be like, hey, that's bad. Don't do that. And they were like, what? That's bad? What I've been doing is bad? Is kind of like when people in the 90s were trying to teach kids like, oh, uh, your bullies are probably just like tortured at home. If you're just nice to your bullies, they'll let you go. No, they won't. They're going to beat your ass harder. No, they're not. Sometimes it just isn't going to work. Sometimes you can't empathy your way out of a situation. Sometimes, yes. I've made friends with a lot of really mean people and tried to guide them uh, passively, subconsciously away from being bad people. But sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes you're just going to have to punch someone in the fucking teeth and it sucks. And I'm not saying that I'm going to tell you when you should and shouldn't do that. It's not my place to tell you that. But sometimes that's how it is. More Timberlings, dude. Are you serious? Damn it. Fine. We forgot to get the Gnarl Pine Ambushers. Bear, uh, Bane, Ethel, Barrow, Den. I think that's north of us. And then these guys are... Wellspring Lake. We have to get out of the city first. Okay, let's get out of the city real quick. I have not watched much Owl House. I tried to get into it, but I wasn't really hooked. I mean, other than Ida. <laughs> but I wasn't really hooked otherwise. It was okay. Watch One Piece. Uh, I do not have another couple thousand years to dedicate to watching a show right now. An important lesson I learned, I think, speaking of uh, Tales games, Tales of games. One thing that really stuck with me when I was younger was watching uh, Tales of Vesperia. Uh, spoiler alert, I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to not listen. I'll tell you when it's safe to come back. Actually, just give me 30 seconds. Give me 30 seconds once I count down from five. Five, four, three, two, one. So in Tales of Vesperia, the main character, pretty typical shonen protagonist or whatever, he's cool, he's a bit of a ronin. I'm gonna do this in 30 seconds, so pay attention quick. But at one point in the game, there's a bad guy. There's a bad guy that the team captures and they're doing the typical team thing. They're like, we're gonna turn him into authorities. And bad guy basically mocks team and is like, you'll never get away with it. I can just buy my way out of anything, basically, right? And the main character's like, yeah, maybe you can, but my party's not here. He's like, what do you mean? And main character kicks him into fucking like quicksand, I think. And he drowns, he just watches him drown in quicksand. He's like, I'm not my party. I'll do what they won't. I'll take this sin on because you are a net detriment to the world. Fuck you. Basically, I'm like, damn. Sometimes, even though it's not the righteous thing, you have to sacrifice morality for, for justice. I think that's where Batman strays. Like, if Batman would just kill his villains, yeah, he'd be as bad as his villains or whatever. But he would also save thousands of lives. So... I think he stabs him. Yeah, and then kicks him over a bridge or something. It's been a while since I played it. All I remember is he kills him. Anyway, welcome back. That's 30 seconds. Spoilers up. <laughs> Banned for popularity polls because he's too based. On the other hand, I really like Yuri's foil. I really... What was it? Uh, 
What was his name? Guy? I think his name was Guy. No, no. Uh, Floyd? I don't remember his fucking name. Uh, I like Yuri's foil a lot. I think he's a really cool, compelling character, and I think that he also has a point. Like, it's not wrong. Flynn, that's his name, Flynn. Very cool character, very typical knight in shining armor. I, I want to model myself to a degree morally off of somebody like Flynn. You want to do things the right way if you can help it. God, I'm getting my ass kicked by the spider. Holy shit, he's beating me down in melee. That poison's doing work. Um, One second, I got to get away from this. Uh, Morally, I want to be more like Flynn. I think trying to work within the system and do right by people and, uh, you know, try to seek um, amicable way... Uh, what is the word? Uh, uh, trying to seek change within a system is not wrong, but I think that sometimes you have to be the Yuri. Knowing the balance between the two is important. I think that Flynn was a very good person trying to do the right thing, but he was a little stuck on his high horse. Uh, and sometimes you need to know when action must be taken and you have to sacrifice personal morality. Yes, it does depend on themes that the author's going for. You're right about that. Exactly. And I don't think Flynn's wrong for that. You need people like that. Like, it's it's easy to be like, okay, so yeah, Yuri wanted to handle things on the ground level, but realistically, if we're looking at this in a, in a genuine real world instance, Flynn was trying to make actionable change in the system and the only way that people would actually listen to him and make a genuine big, like, spanning difference. Yuri was doing very cowboy justice and doing things Flynn couldn't, but... Yuri was also sitting on his fucking hindquarters getting nothing done and selfishly just living his free life the way he wanted to live. He was living by his own personal ethics, yes, and that's great, but he was getting jack shit done for the world. On a individual solo level, he was getting way more done than Flynn, but in a global scale, as far as changing the actual system, Flynn had a much better chance of like truly changing things at the top. But, but, Flynn also, here's the other side of that, turned a blind eye to a lot of injustice because he's like, listen, I have to go with it. I have to deal with it. It's part of the system until I can change it. And that is a slippery slope to becoming a politician. <laughs> Where at first you're in it for the right reasons. And you're like, it's just for a little while. It's just for a little while and then I'm going to fix things. And then eventually you're in the pockets of people with money and you don't change things. You don't want to change things. Right. Flint's too bound by the rules. Yuri's not bound enough by the rules. Two sides of a coin, and I think that's beautiful. I think finding the in-between is important. God dang, I'm getting my ass kicked in melee. Shit, these guys hurt. Are you guys not who I'm killing? Am I not at the right lake? Mossy tumors. Destroy the timberlings. You're a timberling. At the lake. Well, Spring Lake. We're here, baby. It might be time to actually implement the kiting I taught you guys earlier. I think it's time we did actual kiting. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. What are you doing? Ah! All right, well. I've never played Tactics Order, no. Okay, these are the right guys. Cool, 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 cool. What about you? Are you part of... Whoa, you're level 10, buddy. Man, this is getting kind of scary out here. Time to unbind F1. Oops. No, I've never played uh, Alice. I've heard good things about it. I hear it was a cult classic. I never played Tactics either, but I did watch my older sister play Tactics. She seemed to like it quite a bit. At the time, that was not my type of game. I was like, no, this is boring. I won't play Mega Man Battle Network. <laughs> I 
Mm -hmm. No, I don't think I ever really got in any RPG Maker games. I'd like to at some point, though. Yeah, I played Battle Network. It was great. I loved it. Dude, you're beating my ass. Are you fucking me right now? Don't you dare hit me again. Don't do it. Die. Die. Woo! Huh. All right, so level 10's maybe outside of my range. <laughs> hey, welcome back, Aura. No, never played Club Penguin either. You know what I did play? I remember being in school, I would play Adventure Quest in the computer lab. <laughs> I have seen the new Mega Man Battle Network collection. I want to play it at some point. At some point. I don't even know what the hell Pop Tropica is, but sure, yeah, why not? No, oh, he's level 10. Uh, leave me alone. Ah! There's level 10s everywhere! Oh, uh, being a hunter at level 8 and 9 is so rough. This is the part where most hunters are going to die in the hardcore challenge. This levels 8 to 9, that is the vast majority of hunter deaths. Because you start encountering tougher enemies, but you don't have your pet to tank yet. And it just sucks. I forgot to turn back on my buffs. Oopsies. Hello, dog. Man, you guys got me rambling a lot today, you little bastards. <laughs> oh, Grand Chase? No, I never played that. I played a little bit of Elsword. Neopets? Uh... I didn't really get into it. It was okay, I guess. I, I don't know. I just couldn't really navigate the website very well. I couldn't figure it out. What the hell are you doing in the water? God! You guys are everywhere. Quit! I'm swimming. I'm sw- ah! Come on! Damn! Fuck! Ow! Hello? No, I never played that either. Oh, I did, uh, I, when, uh, my older sister was in college, I would visit her and I'd play Ragnarok online on her PC. That was fun. Okay, I think the Oracle Glade is where I needed to be next. So this is great. Or no, I think I needed to be here. Oh, well, we'll get to it eventually. Let us party. Damn, I'm not doing nearly enough damage at a range. Fuck. That's still recharging. That spell is I think Ragnarok Online just got an update. So if you wanted to play it again, I guess now would be the time. I think they updated it so they have, like, third tier classes now instead of just tier two. Or did you just heal, you fucker? Are you shitting me right now? Fuck! Damn it! I need an interrupt. Like rogues who have like a kick in the face. Good night, Skeffy. Okay, let's try this again. Well, at least we got three arrows off or four arrows off on that one. Gaia sucks now. Ooh, bummer. Sorry to hear that. Do you have a Thorns Aura? What is that around you? I feel like you're doing damage to me for hitting you. You are. You have a Thorns Aura. You... And you're healing! Stop it! Get some help, dude. I hate you! I hate you! Ugh, not another Thorns Aura. Dude, relax! Die, 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 die! Ugh! Every fight with these guys is a fight to the death. This sucks. Oh, not even close to leveling up. No, I don't think I'd ever stream with my sister. Or any of my siblings, for that matter. Either of my sisters.
be nice if I could find another level 9. Oh well. Oh shit, shit, shit. Ah, I missed a shot. Ah, I moved too soon. Damn it. I fucked up. Wait. Ooh, get a shot off. Ooh, get a shot off. Ooh, get a shot off. Ooh, ooh. Nice. I'd love to get far enough away to use a concussive shot, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think I might be fucked here. I, get, I might have to use another potion if I can even do that. Damn it. I can't get enough distance to use my concussive shot. Fuck. Maybe if I can lose him here. There we go. Fuck. Come on, man. Hey, you just going to watch, bud? Very cool. Thanks, dick wagon. All right, fuck this. We're di we're dipping. We're dipping. Shit, shit, shit. Hey, shoot that thing. Oh, cool. Woo! All right, that was close. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Call of Duty, Halo, God of War. Halo is cool. I played Halo with my older sister once in a while. Oh, stream. Oh, shit. Stream's dying. Hold on. Hold on. One second. Come on, Internet. Come on, South Elysium. You got this, baby. Let's go. Maybe you don't got this. Why are you lagging so bad? What happened? Hello? Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Wait. Wait. I think we are so back. No, we're not. Yes, we are. No, we're not. Oh, we're so gone. We're at zero now. And we're back. And we're gone. Come on! All right, one second. I got to fix this. Hi, Kang! I'll be right back. I got to fix this. Okay. Did I fix it? Hello? Is anybody there? I think I fixed it. Okay. Nice. That took a second, but I think we got it going, baby. We're so back. Give it a sec. It's going to catch up. It's going to realize I fixed it in a minute. Oh, my God. Why is everything out of your level 10? 
All right, maybe we're going to go back and do this quest first. Let me make sure that's where that quest is. Uh, Bane, Ethil, Barrow, Den to the west. I think that is it right here. Okay, everybody refresh. Refresh. A promise is fixed. I fixed it. Oh, hey, there's another quest here. Interesting. What? Um, I was dispatched with a small group of sentinels here to protect the oracle tree from the harpies that uh, have made nests all around the glade. Little by little, we, have try uh, we are trying to push them back. When the oracle tree attempted to send a runner to Darnassus with a report, the messenger was attacked and killed by a group of harpies. If you feel up to the task, go to their nests, slay them, and return their belts to me as proof of your deeds. Okay. Sure. We're back, baby. Where are their nests? North of here? Probably. Yeah, we made it back. Ooh, whoa. One of those bear trees. I bet this is a druid spot. I bet this is a druid. Oh, it's an enchanter area. That's cool. I bet this is also where druids get one of their... um runes or something gotta figure out where hunters are getting their runes i could probably kill some harpies right i'm high enough level for harpy fight Ooh, there might be multiple mm, uh, mm. well while we're out here i would feel weird if i didn't at least try to get some harpies killed oh no you don't oh no you don't oh no you don't oh no you don't Fuck, I gotta go. Ah! Hot, 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 hot. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay, this is bad. I'm running the wrong way. 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 No, 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 no. You don't see me. You don't see me. Stop! Leave me alone. Okay. Whew. That was close. Oh boy. That was close. I'm just kidding. Easiest fight of my life. Wait. Is the stream fucking up again? Be honest. I fixed it. Disappears. What? No, my connection's great. What are you talking about? Did you refresh? We're Gucci. Not enough mana. Not enough mana? The hell are you talking about? Ah! Oh man! Well, it was only a matter of time. What is going on? What is going on with your guys' internet? Uh oh, woof. Oh, you know what? We are in fact not Gucci apparently. Hmm, weird, because I have green connection. Yeah, with your internet. <laughs> I blame you for this. Why are you guys watching from South Elysium? Come on. <laughs> Ian Curse doing his magic. It's probably telling me I need to take a break before uh, the Minecraft stream. So you know what? So be it, I guess. I broke my bow. My internet broke. I think uh, I think it's telling me something. I think, I think it's giving me a, a limiter. Refreshing health? That's good. I'm glad you like the thumbnail. Oh yeah, this is my last stream before uh, the collab, uh, which will be my final stream until I go get my wisdom tooth or teeth, depending, removed. So I will be out uh, of commission for Wednesday and Thursday. I'm planning on coming back Friday for a big collab um, between, I believe, Vanguard and Armis. I want to say we're playing party animals. Uh, but... I do not know how talkative I will be there, and I will almost certainly not be streaming my perspective. Just so you know, I will be there, but I don't think my perspective will be streamed. We'll see how much talking I do. Do I get to keep the teeth afterwards? Uh oh, I didn't ask. Yeah, 
I'm going to be in the TSP Apex Custom. I'm going to absolutely uh, dominate. I have played Apex like two times in my life, but don't worry. I'm an unstoppable god. Sometimes they let you ask. Okay. I mean, I might. I don't know. I don't know what I would do with teeth. What am I going to do with them? Artie Armas fan art. <laughs> I think I've seen it, actually. The one with Octavio holding the guitar, holding my shoulder. And I'm like, cover me, Octavio. And Octavio's like, which song? <laughs> When's the teeth merch drop? That's, actually, I'm selling my teeth right now uh, on Etsy. That's not true. I'm not doing that. You named your scorpion fang. Scorpions have fangs. Come back. I'm back. I'm, I'm back. Don't worry. All right, we got to figure out where the hunters are real quick. We're going to go to the hunters area. I'm going to sell stuff, buy a new bow, and then we're going to probably take a little break. I'm back, and I brought milk. Oh, this is the bank. Weird bank, bro. I probably should have stopped and asked a guard where the hunter trainer is in retrospect. Whoops. Of course, as soon as I'm like, oh, I'll take a little break. My internet's like, oh, it's fine now. You guys are so strong for sticking it out despite this. You're heroes. I don't even know how to use swords. Man, this is bad. I never did do that great bear den quest, did I? Internet's broken, but the conversation keeps going. That's a good mentality. I like that. Actually, I think the hunter trainer's right up here in one of these trees, right? Ew. What do you mean you like me? Yuck. <laughs> We just have separation anxiety. Ooh, sorry about that. Oh, this must be the rogue area because the poison vendor's here. Stop making me miss rogue. Quit it. I'm not doing it. I'm not going to play a rogue. You can't make me. You can't make me go back. You can't make me go back. Wait, isn't the pet trainer up here? I think the pet trainer's up here. Yeah, stable master, hunter trainer. There was a pet trainer here. I don't know if it's not here right now or what, but... Where do I get a level 10? Ooh, Aspect of the Hawk. That's just a straight uh, damage increase. Level 14 is Eagle Eye. Got it. Okay, so Beast Mastery, Dual Wield, level 20. Male at level 40. Serpent Sting, level 2. Okay. Track Humanoids. That's really strong. Damn, Hunter's really got it all. Farewell. So is there a Bowyer out here? Gamers, give in, return to the shadows. Crimson Ruse, how dare you? Ooh, Nunnally says, could be around for monetization stream. So here's the late congratulatory Supa. Welcome to Holostars and congrats again. Thank you for the delicious soup. That's some good soup. Save those teeth for the fairy. <laughs> Fair. Oh, pet trainer. So check this out, right? So hunters had to pay money to train their pets because their pets didn't get any stats leveling up. You had to buy stats for your pets in Classic. That's wild, right? Hunters had to spend money on ammo, their own skills, feeding their pet, and training their pet. Mm, good soup. Okay, so there's no bowyer out here, which is a little weird, but uh, that's okay. Caretaker, stable master, hunter. Yep, no bowyer. Huh. Guess I got an ass guard. Just gonna check in this building real quick, though it's probably all druidge simulators. Just like in real life. Maybe Classic Hunter was the real hardcore all along. Nah. 
Nah, they're definitely the easiest class to play hardcore with. Um, don't get me wrong. They had their own struggles money-wise. But as far as not dying, like, by far the best class. I don't think they hate hunters. I think they just wanted to make... I think Blizzard had a different mindset in this era, and I preferred that mindset of verisimilitude. They really wanted you to feel like you were your class. You know what I mean? Um, so I think druids got like a latent buff to damage when they were outdoors and hunters, like, you know, just weird stuff like that. Like rogues um, crafting their own poisons and shit like that. I think they maybe still do that. I'm not sure. There was just a more, there was more concern with making your class identity feel unique and interesting like useless abilities like warlocks had the ability i have killed jaden or i have killed rog or something like that they would summon a green fiery eye and it would send them into first person of that eye and then they could pilot the eye away from their body and go look around was this useful not really i mean it had its purposes but it was kind of just there to because it's it's cool it was fun and then you know like shamans had like eagle vision or whatever or eagle eye or something like that where they could like they had like an AOE they could shoot out all the way over there and it gave them like a sky top down view to see it. It was called Farseer. Very cool. Very interesting. Just fluff stuff, flavor stuff that didn't do a lot for you mechanically, but was just cool for the class. Dude, where's the bow here? Mm, maybe at the weapons trainer. Good luck. Wait, do I track other players' pets? Holy shit, I do. Yeah, when you did get to use those abilities for cool stuff, it was very cool. Enjoy your short blink. Wasn't I of Kilrog in the first Warcraft RTS game? I'm not sure. I never played the first or second Warcraft RTS games. Please tell me somebody here sells bow. Okay, hello. Ooh. A quiver. And bows. Oh, boy. Level 11. Okay, that sucks. Hey, you know what? Just repair my stuff. Can you teach me to use weapons? Fist weapons, staves, and throne. I'll take the stave, and that is it. The rest of these are relatively useless to me. I'll have to go to humans to learn swords, probably. Okay, let's see. How is our Southern Elysium internet holding up? What are we looking at, gamers? How's our how, how are we holding up? Are we sticking it out? What are we doing? Do we want to try and make it to level 10? How long would that take me? Let's see. It's, I've already been going for about three hours. Mm, three hours is kind of pushing it. Mm. What level am I? If I'm level 8, I'll push it. If I'm level 8, I'll push it. We'll push it to 10 real quick. We'll get to level 10 so I can show you talents. Uh, and then I'll uh, I'll call it. Oh, sorry. I'm looking at my internet. Hmm. YouTube says two hours. It's lying. Oh, for fuck's sake. You know what? Fuck it. I lied. All right. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Thank you, Southern Elysium. Ah, dang it. That's all right. It's fine. We'll call it for now. It was a nice surprise stream anyway. It was more to just get this out of the way since I'm not going to be here Wednesday. And, you know, as a, I just want to stream WoW one more time because I want to play it. I want to enjoy it. Uh, I will probably next time you see me on WoW Wednesday, I'll be doing hardcore instead of um, Season of Mastery. I'll try and get the internet stuff sorted out before then. We'll see. I don't think it's anything I can do. Maybe it's just that I pushed it too long or maybe just this hour has a lot of traffic. I'm not sure yet. Uh, but, but 
I think we're just going to call it for now. I'm going to uh, pop out here in Darnassus. I could give you one more quick little, um, I'll give you one more cute little uh, tip on WoW. When you log out, you want to log out in an inn in the town you're in or in a major city. How will you know when that's happening? You'll see up here on your character screen, there's a Z, 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 Z. That means you're getting rested XP, which turns your XP bar blue. And depending on how long you log out for, you get extra XP. So you level up faster when you come back. Would recommend try to log out somewhere where you get rested XP. Because if I'm going to take a break for a whole week, that should be long enough for me to get a full bar all the way up to level nine and a half where I'm at now of rested XP, which is really awesome. And I think it just kind of facilitates feeling like you're in a world because you want to rest somewhere that's restful. And then you'll level up faster. But if you rest out in the wild, you don't get that bonus. It's nice. See you, Aura. Thanks for popping in. Thank you, gamers, for popping by. Um, let me go find somebody to head out to. Uh, I am either going to send us to the waiting room for Minecraft or... Where am I going to send us? Who's next? Who's next? Uh... <laughs> Thanks. I'll see you tonight on Minecraft. Don't worry. I'll be streaming my side of that, uh, assuming my internet holds out. I'm assuming it'll be better by then. Um, so, yeah. I will see you for that. I don't... You know what? Fuck it. We're just not going to raid today. Uh, catch me for Minecraft later. Don't worry about it. I don't have my waiting room up yet, and I don't know if anybody else does, but I don't have time for that. So, bye, Axles. Have fun. I got to go figure out what's going on. Thanks for popping by. I'll see you tonight. Uh, that's going to be at... I want to say 10 EST. Let me double check that for you. That's the right thing to do. I lied. It's 9 EST, so just a few hours from now, okay? Okay, you got about, what, four hours. See ya. Thanks for popping by, gamers, and thank you for all the delicious, delicious supas. Don't forget, you can watch Minecraft on uh, this channel or Shinri Senpai or Ryo Senpai or I believe Autodan Senpai. So stop by any of those spaces. Let's go, baby.